All right, welcome back, Mech Warriors, for yet another game of this round this week of the Mech Warrior Championship Series, run by MWO Comp. And today we have uh, the Dark Sea Corsairs and uh, or DSC and Vile Vigilance. And with me today, I have Mr. GRAM and Mr. Teos. How are you guys? I'm doing great. Doing good. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, as we said earlier, this is the game, right? This is the game of, well, the week, the series so far. We expect that these teams are most likely going to be the ones in the finals as well. So it's uh, it's the entree to uh, the main event. And we also are moving uh, for the viewers at home uh, to a best of seven uh, today. From now on, uh, for some of these matches, these more, uh, I guess, end game final matches, uh, it's not best of five. It moves to a best of seven. So yeah, I know. I I know that uh, you you already said that you, we kind of expect you know both these teams to maybe be in the finals. They definitely seem to be a notch above the rest and the strongest two teams. But we have had an upset in almost every year of CS for like the last three four years. So uh, definitely not impossible that whichever of these two teams drops into the lower bracket that they get beaten by one of those teams down there. That is also very true. It is uh, there's. Always been an upset, actually, funnily enough. <laughs> you know, yeah, I remember every, it, every there year, always there's is. an upset, right? <laughs> no, you're 100% spot on there. Now, uh, thoughts on the teams, J-Ram? Uh, we've well, we got about five, seven minutes, eight minutes. What are you, what are you uh, thinking? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to be fast. So obviously, like, uh, DSC has a lot of, you know, previous EQ members on it. Um, so I have a pretty, I think I have a much better understanding of the DSC team. However, I want to say I haven't actually participated in any any scrims with or against these teams. I haven't really seen them play. Uh, I will say this. Vile looked incredibly strong in comp queue. I mean, just their comp queue stats, it, to me, like, it's hard not to put them as the favorite in this match. Um, but comp queue is different from an actual match. And what's interesting is even though I think Vile's the favorite to win the entire tournament, they haven't actually won a tournament as Vile, I don't think. Like, the Vile team has not won a single tournament. Nope. Um... This year, I think it was DSC won, was it uh, the first tournament? I can't remember if it was like TOS or whatever. And then I think Fidelis won the next two, uh, something like that. But yeah, I don't think Vile has won one. So very interesting. But uh, yeah, their comp queue stats, their comp queue play looked very impressive. And I think that to me, that already set the pace because if it's an even game, if it's just a straight up trade game, I think I have to favor Vile. So to me, I'm really going to be looking at DSC how are they going to strat these games out? Because if they're maybe not favored and, you know, out shooting them, playing a standard game, then maybe they can outsmart them. That is definitely on the table. And I think these maps leave a lot of play for that. It feels really weird to describe a team led by an EMP player with so many former EMP players on that team as the younger team. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, I think that DSC definitely has a lot more of the age advantage. They've been playing together a lot long, a lot longer. And you are right, Vile has had a very shaky start, but they have definitely got uh got gotten their act together. I know Chimera has clamped down on on the on the team a lot with a very he's he's grown into a mentality of okay, this is do or die. We need to actually get our shit together. So I'm a little curious that I feel like Vile is kind of the is kind of the challengers here. I even though this is the first time both teams have like really shown up in 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 finals i do feel like dsc does have a little bit more of i don't want to call it incumbency but a lot of dsc players are coming off of equilibrium which as we all know won cs 2023 so they are coming to defend their title even if they're not on the same team yeah really interesting dynamic obviously uh vile does have some of the most experienced players in the entire game though and uh I know I mentioned like, oh, maybe DS DSC can outsmart them, but D Vile has some really, really smart brains. I mean, like I know Bowser is incredibly smart and understands the game very well. Chimera as well. Uh, he even played on Fidelis with me uh, for one of the uh, tournaments and very smart, very good understanding of the game. I think, I think that... Yeah. No, go ahead, Dash. Go ahead. Um, the one thing that's missing is that the DSC or well, the team combination um, uh, with uh, Ghosty, Stimrog, stuff like that, I think DSC are the team that is going to pull out the more weird things, the odd little things here or there, the odd plays, 
Um, the little, those little spots, uh, we've seen the DSC spot um, on uh, Terra uh, to deny Kappa, where Ghosty sits like way back with, uh, with that Hunchback 2C. Those sort of small little things can twist a game, and that will keep Vile busy, where I think Vile is more the very structured, we, we've practiced this, we know what it is. And then DSC will be bringing that little spice add to each match and these little spots here and there that can really cause problems and really change games. So can I just make a quick prediction? The the stuff that we've already said, both these teams can probably come to the same conclusions, right? And obviously they probably know each other better than we know them at this point because they've probably scrimmed a decent amount. But I just want to say, I predict Vile is going to, to straight up push one drop because if you think the enemy team is not going to beat you in a straight match and that they're going to try to outstrat you, the simplest way to distill a match down to just skill is to just push. So I'd be very surprised if Vile does not push once. Just, just a prediction of mine. Hmm. Yep. I can see it. Yep. Uh, One of those maps where you get that opportunity to do that count. Yeah. Not, not like the mantra, the really crazy sort of mantra stuff, although they played completely standard today and really gave 2 2 a good workout. Uh, it's, yeah, if you expect there might be some funky business, just eliminate it. Just eliminate yeah. it. Make them come to you. I'm thinking so Bog I'm... might be the safest map to push. Maybe? Bog, I don't know. Definitely, definitely a pretty safe map. I think mm. that Terra, like mid-range push through the center is a tried and true strategy. Um, we haven't seen that yet, have we? we? Have we seen that? Right, the mid-range Terra push? I don't think we have through the middle yet. Yeah. Really? We've seen FJRD <laughs> run it and oh, KDCM run it against oh. each other. But that's it. Okay. Yeah, that's more of a mm, kind of a mashing in the middle, right? <laughs> it's not really one aggressing the other so much. It was more of a let's just crash into each other with two tidal waves and see what happens. I definitely think that that used to be a common strategy on this map was to run like Daka, like Slavenair, for example, like those type of mechs and push through the center and uh, outgun your opponent. Mm. But uh, yeah, I mean, not really sup in meta super right now, but... Uh, I, I just do predict that if if they came to the same, same conclusion we are, that's just the simplest way to try to get around funny business if you think that the enemy team is going to try Got some weird stuff. Oftentimes that just crumbles to a push because they're out of position and they're trying to do too much on the map at once, right? Or they're bringing too much trade or, you know, the list goes on. And yeah, so you're trying to be to a push. too busy. Too busy. Too, too much busy is too much work, essentially, right? Yeah. yeah, but they could. I could also be the other way around. Maybe DSC will push. I don't know. Well, oh, that's also a true, right? They, they might be thinking, oh, you know, uh, Vile are going to set up here, 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 but we won't let them do that. We'll, like you said, do the opposite. Go at them. Upset them in Absolutely. that way. Now, it would be DSC pretty crazy might be a, might be a little push. more adverse to a push. Mm. Mm, I think so. I think that, yeah, DSC are going to be more stratty overall. We'll say... Both these teams have pushed in the in the tournaments throughout this year, though. Both of them, and honestly, I think they both had very good results pushing too. Uh, okay. I know. I, I I'm pretty sure Vile pushed the DSC on Canyon Network, like two drops in a row. Uh, earlier, I can't remember which tournament that was. I think it might have been the five versus five. Um, I, I know DSC has definitely done pushes, especially uh, er, early on in the year against Vile, and they have won those pushes. Uh. Ceramic is it Ceramic Scrapyard? Is that the name of the map? Comes to mind where DSC Aries, definitely pushed yeah. Vile twice, and they won both those drops. So I would be very surprised if neither of these teams push. Uh, yeah. But maybe they pushed each other in scrims and it hasn't worked out. So well, they, we they have reached the top well. of the hour though. So yep. I think it's time to start oh, the map ban to see. I was see. saying, yep. Yeah, let's, let's ban away it. and uh, let's get into it. Have a look, see where these teams are going to take us. Today. Now we just have to wait. <laughs> I love the map back thing is always you just have so, to see. Uh, for those who don't know, because this is the first best of seven round we've mm. had this year, the map ban will determine uh, games one through five. And then for six and seven, the teams will take turn picking which maps they want. DSC picks HVG right, uh, right off the bat. And I think that's a very safe pick because that means if you if you choose the map, your opposing team gets to pick the side. And HPG, it doesn't matter what side you are. Vile mm -hmm. picks Frozen, though. That's interesting. That means that they're fine on both sides, which I would say Frozen is a very ASIM map, so I'm not sure. 
Yeah, I'm very surprised to hear that because to me, Frozen is the most important map to get to the team one on. Like, yeah, I, I don't want to play DSC team two. Frozen. Picks, yeah, yeah, well, team team two rough. DSC picks Bog, Vile picks Bear, and Terra Therma will be drop five. It's a little mm. weird. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. I'm just still thrown off by picking Frozen right off the bat. That to me, that that signals that Vile is so much more confident in their trade plays that they are willing to get a worse side on that map. Or they could be playing yeah. for another map further down, um, some specific map side on uh, Bog or Terra perhaps, and giving up Frozen as a bit of yeah, a lobby, bit of a lobby, <laughs> you know, mini game in the lobby perhaps. So like, well, if Frozen, Frozen doesn't matter to us, maybe we want these two selections on these other two maps. To take it away from DSC potentially from doing something sneaky on Terra, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, that could make complete sense. Now, where are DSC we? DSC will be team one. Uh, oh, interesting. Okay, so then DSC will be. That's team. So that's DSC will be team two on Frozen, right? Yeah. Am I reading that yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Really? Wow. That's a. That chose team two? That is. I'm okay. You want to be shocked? Okay, now I'm shocked. Yeah, yeah. I guess that I'm outside of the <laughs> man. I mean, these teams know better than me what the meta is for these maps. They've been playing at them, and today you don't hide anything. This is winner's bracket. Like the team that wins this goes to the grand final, and they have to be beaten twice. So you bust out all your strats today. So yeah, they know something we don't. If they're choosing that side, they wow. have something cooked up. Completely. And DSC are mostly team two for most of the games here today one very, two one two very two. interesting so but i am all right Terra yeah. also kind of kind of worries me actually no uh we don't get to see which team chose Terra. so but uh bog and hpg i'm not too concerned about the sides their sides are mostly predictable uh, DSC chose team to the south side, which makes me think that they want to be a little more Epsilon heavy on Bear Claw, but yeah, this is going to be a weird one. My it understanding is, is, is. Uh, top C gets to choose the side for the last map. Uh, oh. I believe that was the higher seed because they did better. In yeah, Coffee, DSC right? is so. higher, I think, according to the ticket. No, uh, I think it's been on the, on the tournament, not... Um, the comp Q. Yeah. Looking looking at the ticket, uh, DSC uh, have got the higher. DSC started in the end. higher C bracket just yeah. from how the comp Q seeding worked out. Interesting. I would think that Vile would be the highest seed because they did the best. It seems like it would maybe an error on the tournament. It's a little oh, weird. But, I think it's the bracket. Uh, but yeah, yeah, so if I pull up the map strat, I need yeah, to pull map strat up Terra up. real quick to remind myself. Terra. Uh no, no, I'm pulling up Terra to see which team D DSC chose. Oh. DSC chose Team 2, which means that they're probably doing the Kappa Gamma Sigma hold on, on Terra, which, you know, if you watch the 2 if you watch the two to 8 match about two hours ago, I'm very passionate about that strat. And I will say that DSC is one of the few teams I have seen that pull off that strat almost perfectly. So I would say that they're probably feeling very comfortable on Terra. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I definitely think that Team 2 has that more straightforward path to victory uh, on Terra. Yeah. So, probably not going to see a push from them on if they're choosing Team 2, I would guess. Uh, probably, exactly like you said, going to see that, that Kappa Gamma and then look for Sigma or Theta, depending on how their opponents are set up. All right, now, uh, we are over on the HBG. What do you think is going to happen here? Because both of these teams have uh, generally not gone near the basement <laughs> very oh, early man. on so they've kind of it's, done like a two cap middle thing this map is so so interesting because of that basement right so it's mm. who brings more to the basement to get it at the beginning like that sets the entire tone of the match and you basically you want just a little bit more to get to get a theta you know but, but if but you have no trade overcommit then your mm -hmm. then your bigs on the wall are then at, are are then at risk of being jumped HPG is so weird how it's so straightforward, and yet it's all about the balance of how There's much so you send to commit. I mean, you can push on this map too. You can push like ER large on the wall with a full brawl, like five man on the low ground. You can uh, you can do mid range push 
underneath and shoot up at the wall when you come like through like Echo 5, Delta 5, uh, depending on which side you are. I think the best way to, to handle this, at least in my opinion, is probably have like a pop tart that can shift in and out of the basement to help your wolf pack control it. And uh, so you have that extra mech compared to their wolf pack. And then if they put a big down there, then you just play for the walls instead. And you don't you don't mess with Theta. That's probably like the safest way to do it. Um, well, we've seen DSC have had that pop tart. No, no, it's either the Jenna or a, I think it's a, a, a Phoenix Hawk or something like that. Or well, they've had a couple that can sort of, yeah, jump and pop around. Um, and Stim's been in that Narc Jenna a bit as well um, on HPG. Yeah. Like consistently. So. Have we seen a lot of ERPBC though? Because the, oh. those mechs you described, they can't reach the walls. You know, they we haven't seen a lot of ER peeps, but we have seen a lot of plasma AP Goss shadow cats, which sort of which sort of harass the wall a bit. Uh, DSC also really loves to put a mid bomb mech in 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 the center, whether it be an executioner or a longbow overcharge. That'll uh, also sort of work uh, work the enemy wall mechs along with burning the legs of any enemy lights that are that are in the center, but. DSC hasn't really blanked on the wall as much as they've just sent lights to kill their enemy bigs if they feel that they're isolated. They love to send a Viper, uh, Mislink, Shadowcat, whatever, anything that can make the jump from the front, they love to send a light to try to stall or kill their enemy big. But beyond that, they don't really so spend too much time on the wall. We've got DSC that, that have locked sense. in, uh, and... Um... Look at the Lancers, guys, and the players that are in the Lancers. Yeah, Bravo Charlie Heavy with one. I'm assuming that's a cat mech in, with Simrog to grab Epsi. Yeah, uh, nothing on the B6 side of the ramp in Alpha to go up that Alpha ramp, uh, that, that B6 ramp. Nothing. Honestly, what this looks like to me is that they're definitely looking at Theta because Bravo is the fastest, uh, fastest spawn by a good margin to get to Theta. Uh, so I would expect that Simrog's going to grab Epsi, and all four of those mechs in Bravo are going to go straight to Theta, and then maybe like two mechs are going to climb up to Delta-6. Yeah, they're going to um, have two mechs you would think fairly close in this Delta-6 region, right? If they're so heavy, Bravo, Charlie. Kind of would have made too much sense to put someone in Bravo and then walk them all the way. Uh, there we go, just draw the map, like across up there. It's, yeah, I mean, it just takes longer. <laughs> simply I'm, takes I'm you longer. I think I can think of, like, like, the other... Only other thing I can think... EQ ran a strat that had lances, I think, exactly like this, where they wrapped with fast ear large mechs on the wall, like this, and uh, pushed underneath, and then came up out of this with, uh, like, full brawl lights yep. and mediums. And Actually, I, remember uh, I guess that. the lance yeah. would make sense for that as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, MPG, generally a light mech, not uh, assault, so I don't think that's what they're doing. We've also but, uh, got Vile here quickly that have just locked in. Uh, pretty spread, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, pretty standard. Uh, and have a look, look at the player names. It's going to be... Very standard, yeah. Yeah, very, very sort of standard there. And uh, we're both at 480 tons for both teams. Now, they're ready to go. So without further ado, let's launch the game and get into it. Drop number one. Oh, boy. Oh boy, I am so ready for this. Hope everyone at home is ready for it as well, because I most certainly am. I'll uh, I'll f fly and zoom zoom over to Team One if uh, one of you guys, Mr. Tios, wants to do the Team Two when we get to that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll let one you know. Beautiful, beautiful. Loading, loading, loading. Here we are. Okay. So what do we have on the, uh, very quickly before the mechs drop in, Crusader, Osiris, SR2, uh, Javelin, 11F, uh, Overcharge, Viper, Spider, and Direwolf. Well, we know the Overcharge is going to be that quick laser bomb up to the middle. So that's, uh, yeah, then I think it's, I think it's two people on the wall and everyone else in the middle, at least at this stage. Yep, yeah, and, and that's then... for DSD then. Yeah, and then for Vial, we are seeing a Shadow Cat, a Flea, an Adder Warthog, a Stone Rhino 6, a Crusader 6T, a Jenner 2C2, an Executioner M, and a Stalker. So, Stone Rhino, 
probably mid vom. Let me pull up their build real quick, and then if it's the six, XC I is would probably think so. ER yeah. large and, and micros. Docker is definitely ER large. So the Chimera is running four large pulse, seven ER meds on his stone rhino. Bowser's running an AP Goss adder. XC is ER large and ER micros. Ooh. The Crusader is mid vom, large pulse, ER meds, and smalls. Funny you mention ERPPCs, Mr. G Ram, because we have uh, two of them on MPG's Crusader. I think that very interesting. I just want to point out that Warhog. It's very slow, but man, that's going to be strong in the basement. I it's I think frail it's too, yeah. but it can absolutely mollywop a light. In fact, even if a light over twists for a second, it can it can one shot any light from from the rear. I would say I, that Obbins. Robbins. Vile's deck <laughs> is definitely a bit more range heavy. I mean, sorry, a bit more mid range heavy. Uh, D DSC, if they can force a range enga engagement, they might be at a greater advantage, but. Well, the Shadow Cat actually for Vile here is ER peeps, not the uh, standard plasma uh, stuff. So that's interesting. And you've also got uh, over the back corner here, uh, DSC just setting up um, to go that high wall side. That high with the look, overcharge look as well. Though. Look at the push that they're doing on DSC side. Yep. This. This is, they're going for a gank on the yep. wall. And they are going to... Kong Lord is backing out, and I, I think Lizzie's aware. I think they're all pulling out. Yep. Um, Lizzie uh, already Kong knows. UAV, so, so he sees them. Vile is, I think, mobilizing to maybe hold Sigma, but they've sort of Ooh. cleared everyone who's at risk. Lizzie had to drop though, that hurts. Camera is taking quite a bit of damage there uh from some of those range uh range mechs and uh returning fire definitely definitely over a 1000 meters there at that point. Uh Vile reacted quite quickly to that. It's now a question of what do they do? You look at the Camera maybe moving now, to Theta? Yep. I don't know. I Chimera trading at that range doesn't feel good, seeing as he's large pulse in uh, ER meds. He's definitely at a huge, at a huge disadvantage here. DSC might be pulling back. Yes, I are. Uh, they've they've gone to that corner. I think they're, I think they're making a play for Theta now. Now that Vial is pulled yep. back. Yeah, they're going under. Yeah, yep. absolutely. But DSC's got to be careful. Hall is overextending a bit, I think. And they're when they're aggressively placed on this wall, they are like. Yeah, they can get shots on if they want, but they can also get shot out from multiple angles. And you're seeing the pressure that Kong is putting on. Yeah, so so, well, you've got yeah, you've see, you've got Seleth and uh, and uh, Kong over the, right over the back there. Holo, like you said, is is going to be kind of going to be locked in here. He's going to have to drop off at some point, I think. They do not have an answer for this ERPPC Shadowcat. That is such a good position for him. He's just getting free damage. Yep, free damage. Uh, Violet sending well. Formex down to Theta. Stimrog's alone. He needs to get the hell out of dodge. Let me oh, see. Oh, Stimrog might be legged here before he gets out. Have a quick look. Okay, he's still... Oh, nope. He's gone. Oh, yeah, he's just. Gone. And he's taken a lot of leg damage for that, though. One of those oh, legs is, leg is almost happened. ripped off. Yep, yep, yep. Great job by Leprechaun there at the end to open that leg. Yeah, that Shadow Cat is still causing problems. Out. Easily. They have to go around the back. They can't come out this... Uh, Man. This... Oh, Basalt However, shot down, did he? I think. Uh, DSC, DSC is going out. to make a run for Scout Derek and... Uh, Lizzie, yep. Lizzie try, trying to focus down the legs on the Crusader. Scout Derek is legged. Derek He's is down. down. But Vile have reacted in force here. Vile's to come back. Chicken Man's legged oh, in dear. his Osiris. Yeah, they're going after Lizzie's legs here as well. Uh, open but not dead. Open but not dead. Uh, lost one leg. House is oh. legged. Oh, house, house goes down. down. Yeah, Chicken, out. Out. Chicken Man won't take long Chicken to Chicken Man's die. just fighting for his life. Chicken Man go, yep. goes down. And Lizzie is I'm shut down, but he's that, alive. Oh, I'm a dear. little surprised that DSC didn't take that opportunity to get Theta back. Uh, this is the chance MPG's to win the game. About MPG. To Chimera. This is it. They need this kill right now. MPG's got to get this kill. If MPG can drop Chimera, that's a huge yep. win. Chimera's open and Cherry both shut sides. Down. MPG oh. over here. Yo. That's a disaster. That's yep. a disaster. Just thing. barely able to... To, twi to twist off the shot. Chimera's halved. Chimera's getting Chimera's cross coming in to get the kill from everywhere yeah, there. Uh, Basalt's already dead at this point. Basalt's about to go down, yep. The numbers are in favor just slightly uh, for Vile at the moment, uh, percentage-wise, after the DSE lights have kind of gotten nuked a bit here. Neon Deer is so far back. She needs a backshot on this flea or something to bring this game back for her team. 
think I think this is a vile win. Hollow is about to go down. And and fearing is dropping. going and Simrock are getting theta. And I'm fearing is open CT and just alive at the back here, just being very so, very careful. And now it's I'm not vile. Say it's over because Ooh. the because vile's down to almost entirely lights, and I don't think there's a mech as suited for killing lights as the as the Crusader 60. If if MPG can pull off some godlike shots here. He may be able no, they're to running. He's running. I think he win. knows. I think he knows they're outnumbered there. And the spider's also weak on yep. that leg, don't forget. So the spider has to... Bowser, the spider can't stay. And Bowser's about to hit Neander from behind. Oh, wow. He's playing yeah, the long shot. Oh, I don't, I don't yeah. I know how she missed him going rotating on the low ground. Up like the that. ramp, yeah. No idea. That... Oh, dear. That's 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 a busy dial wolf now. Uh, let them fight it out. I think Bowser should win that. And now... Um, yeah. Yep. yep. And now Bowser, sorry, uh, MPG has been legged uh, over the back here. Oh, sorry, no, torso actually, sorry. Uh, and there's three of the Vile Lights here. Bowser's going to roll in to be four, and only Stimrag left with one very, very nearly dead leg and one almost nearly very dead leg. So... Wow, that was busy. I know, I know it's a lot to put the onus of win or loss on one player, but I think Konglord getting the wide angles with those peeps kind of won them the match. I think that the... Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, I th I think the amount of deterrence he pulled on, on, on DSC's flank was... Look at the invaluable. numbers. There we go. Run through the damage numbers. Beyond Air getting 638 in the Dire makes sense. She was just farming all game. Kong Lord getting 534 in the in the two ER peep Shadow Cat, which is honestly huge. Mm. Uh, Derek getting 72 damage in the Crusader, even though he got jumped super early. That doesn't ever feel good, but uh, all things considered, the damage is pretty good across the board. Yep. I definitely think that Shadow Cat was the key because it really forced DSC to make a move they didn't want to make. Uh, they did not want to have to jump into the back line like that, into F3. Uh, but they were bleeding, so they had to make a move uh, because mm -hmm. that, that longbow was just getting farmed. Yep, like, and uh, the Stone Rhino as well. Just, they're both of them just getting out harassed. Like, there's just not much you can do about that. Yeah. yeah. Great, great mech pick there um, from Vile, actually. Very, very good mech pick and good movement to move that far back and just it just be an absolute bloody pest let's be honest that that's what that shadow cat is it's just stealing your armor bit by bit yep. by bit uh flip yep. over the map it's not really a mech that you can devote a lot of time to like mm -hmm. if if you if you try to send a light to kill it that's honestly a losing play uh, do you uh, have a bit of a so... doodle on the map strat there guys for me i'll just move this uh yep. lobby and everything around I'm trying to think what Vial could have changed or done mid-match in order to win that game. Uh, or not... Uh, DSC? Or not Vial. Uh, <laughs> DSC. Uh, all right, I'm getting my teams mixed up. Uh, but... Maybe if they spent uh, less time committing to Theta? I don't know. I think what you just have to recognize that the Shadow Cat's going to harass you on the wall. Position isn't viable. Just drop. Like you don't have, you're not fully committed to staying up on that wall. You don't have to die up there. I think it would have been absolutely fine for them to, both of them to just drop and play FC Theta Gamma because at that point, the only trader from uh, Vile that was up on the high ground was the Exe. And if the other mechs want to rotate up on the high ground, that's going to take a lot of time. And they're going to have to move up on the wall to try to get one of your back caps. I really think that they should have just changed their plan once they started getting harassed by that Shadow Cat, drop towards Theta. And just played for FC Gamma Theta with uh, their assaults being more towards the middle. Uh, with the Vile's mechs all kind of being bunched up in uh, like Fox 3 back here yeah. on the low ground. Yeah, yeah there's a couple uh, sort of caught in there. Think... And then Chimera was sort of stuck in, in, in the end, stuck. And I think it was uh, essentially a case of just sell Chimera, kill everything else. Like it, it when you're oh, kind of stuck by that His, point. Yeah. His lights were like yeah. on the ball, and MPG also shut down. So it's a like even longer to get that uh mm -hmm. kill, and he got some damage out as well before he died when in my opinion it should have been like a clean kill with like no damage taken and that crusader should have been able to reconnect and uh get over to his teammates before they died because yeah, yeah we had the dsc guys come out here and then in the end get essentially pushed back 
into theta because they weren't able to quite capitalize where we had uh what was a vial sort of fall back into this region and into into this region sort of here very very quickly like lizzie dropped off that wall like click your fingers snap done get out of there that was very very good scouting um on the vol behalf there i think for sure i don't know who, whoever would have whether shadow cut spotted it or whatever but yeah very very quick no, I definitely think they, they got a little bit spooked. Vile got a little bit spooked, and they played it really safe by dropping from the wall. Yep. Honestly, don't think they needed to drop from the wall that quick. But uh, I think that kind of just shows their mentality. Of like, okay, we they, oh, they're pushing us. They're doing something unexpected. Play it safe. Keep cool. And we'll just outplay them. And in that drop, they did. And their willingness to drop from the wall early is parallel, but uh, not parallel, but the opposite of parallel, by uh, DSC's unwillingness to. Because when you have that shadow cat harassing you endlessly, you got to change your plan. Rather than just, uh, I think, rather than just pulling the trigger and just all inning, making that play, uh, it would have been better to, to change your plan, take it slower, drop off the wall, and just match them on the low ground and try to play a cap game out still. But uh, obviously, that wasn't the call. They decided to go for it, and it was just too deep where the traders couldn't really help them, mm, mm, couldn't mm. connect with them fast enough. Well, uh, Frozen, guys. Uh, team 1, Vile. Team 2, DSC. Uh, and T uh, DSC picked this too, right? So what, <laughs> what do you think is going to happen and how is this one going to play out? All right. So if you one... chose Team 2... Oh, sorry. Yeah, Go chose ahead. Team 2. That's the say, thing, right? You've chosen Me it. and you are on the same page, Tio's, I think. I was just going to explain why Team 1 is generally considered super favored. Is that uh, really this D D5 spot... Um, you get there really fast and you have great lines on the theta team two getting theta early game is just not a thing that that literally cannot happen uh if team one is not afk basically so team one has much better access to theta and uh in my opinion generally is safer from any sort of aggression because they can pull back into like d5 even c5 and there's this large open area that uh that teams would have to push across in order to get to them or down here in this goalie, goalie down here, I'll and yell. Uh, so it's really hard to push them. Uh, it's hard to push Team 1 from Team 2. So the fact that DSC took Team 2, I actually have <laughs> an interesting way uh, that I thought about winning this map on Team 2 that I actually, EQ did do some scrims with a year ago, over a year ago, I guess at this point, almost two years ago, is instead of trying to divide the map in the normal way of north and south, what if you try to divide it the other way, right? East and west hemisphere. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that DSC, <laughs> just because I want to see it, I hope they refined an idea from two years ago and they send traders through the tunnel and set up an E3. I would love to see that because this E3 high ground up here has amazing lines. You trap whatever's on D D5, you get there unexpectedly and you have great lines over anything that can see theta from the other side so then it becomes a much more even game if you can get set up and treat it like an east west it's actually very even in fact i actually favor the west side if you can manage to do that and i think after that last game vile's response to not scouting assaults and having lights and mediums maybe you know pushing aggressively over the uh the ship into e4 i think they would pull back which is would be the wrong play against that sort of uh, tunnel push with traders. But uh, but yeah, just just something I haven't had in mind that I would love to see. What, what do you guys think? I actually, I actually think that you are 100% correct. The only time, in my, in my opinion, the only time a team would really want Team 2, well, there's actually two options. One, you want to just do a hard upper city push like that, of which I do not see DSC ever doing a hard up upper city push like that, mainly because I don't think because because I don't think it's a good strat. But I do think that there is a very solid play to be had in just Kappa in in Kappa Sigma ignoring the seven line entirely and trying to split the map, as you said, uh, east west and uh, to. I don't think a three cap is early attainable for team two. I think that DSC is going to have to play hard for kills just because it's just, you just don't get to Theta in I've, time. I've got one it's quick one. So, it's just so much closer. Because these guys are lock, locking in right now. Very uh, bravo Charlie heavy, by the way, um, for DSC. Let me, let me just add, and this is where I'm going with this. 
As we saw last week, FJRD did a push up here into Vile, caused them quite a bit of problem. It would have gone better if they brought uh, the right mechs and the right decks uh, to push with, because uh, in the end they weren't and they were out of sync and gave Vile a really, really good scare. And I mean a good scare because there was only two or three Vile mechs left alive. So maybe they've seen that, worked on something left field ish and kind of uh, not replicate what FGI did, but sort of a similar thing. Just do it a hell of a lot better. Yeah, I think only one mech being alpha and it being wipe out means my strat is out the window. It's definitely not that. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they have cooked oh, up. God damn, I was not on the map strat at all during that. Oh my goodness. Sorry, everybody at home. When we get to that, I made a complete mistake. I was on the wrong screen. Oh, goodness me. Hopefully you guys were showing it on your channels, which you probably were. Whoops. Anyway. <laughs> oh, man, it's so shit. I wasn't showing on mine either. Oh, no, Tim's I completely mistake. We're, we're too busy. Too, I, got too deep. I got it. We're good. You had it? We're okay. Good. We're good. Oh, yeah, right. oh, thank God. <laughs> well, we can uh, run through the map straight at the end with actually what happened after this game because uh, we are getting in, launching, and uh, we'll see what happens. I'll uh, hit up the Team 1 again, and then... Uh, oh, actually, I'm already there. Oh, that's easy. Thanks. My life. Very easy. Oh. MWO allows me to hop in. There we go. Oh, uh, look, look at, look at, I mean, I can already just see looking at the DSC uh, mechs here. It is an all out 100% maximum attack W key. I think they might actually be coming up the guts. There is no, there's no trader here. Are going to do what I want to say? This is what Mantra did in, in, in invitationals against Fidelis. Uh, was just run up the center right, right over Theta. Of which I'm honestly not sure which route is better than Upper City. Uh, yeah, okay. no, it is. I mean, Gokamish, Huntry Forest, P, I mean, Maximum Survival, right? Charger, Stormcrow, Skull, this is W. Absolute <laughs> Maximum Attack. Yeah, okay, this is going to uh, be interesting. I'm a, I'm a little concerned by some of these picks. Um, I like it. Something a bit different. Shake up, shake up the standard mechs that we see every single drop. I like this. I, I don't think this push should work. How, how, how good is it going to be? Right? I don't know. No, it should yeah. not. Uh, Vile with a Battlemaster, a Stone Rhino 6, XCM. They are so geared to farm this. D and yeah. DSC is just running straight over Theta. I'm curious what route they'll take because this is no man's land. There's no cover right. here. We'll see. I'm going to have a quick uh, look at the uh, DSC builds as well. Proto AC4s on the adder. Woo! Oh. Ooh. Oh, boy. Okay. That's interesting. Maybe One there's some giant cooldown be. quirks in the, in the single ballistic Oh, it's arc? a Brawl Skull too. Oh, I love that. I've used that in quick play. It is so fun. Oh my God. And uh, look at that. The DSC are straight in up over the ship. So they've, uh, rather than go to the Big right side, they, so farmed. they have oh, no, gone actually, to the left. I mean, it's, it's uh, really spread. They're not going legs, actually. Oh, no. Maybe now they are. Okay, they're oh, going legs on PG. But... Yeah, it looked like maybe it was a bit more... It's hard to tell on Chicken Man what they were shooting. It's kind of spread everywhere. Uh, but uh, um... Vile have reacted pretty quickly. Look at that. Look at look at where they're moving everywhere, and the lights are coming in uh, to the uh, well right side flank of DSC here. They, they barely got any distance. They did such a long arc. This looks terrible for DSC so far. But maybe they're gonna start catching right now. Oh, Sal shut right. down. Sal cooked himself with the beamies. I think that's not good. So the oh straight in. Uh, Leprechaun is already is a straight FG. Yep. Follows in, hitting Kong Lord in the Battlemaster. Chicken Man is almost dead. He's one touch C CT. Oh, Basalt shows his butt. Oh, no. That's not good. Hollow Kong is... Kong legged. Kong goes down. Running oh, no. Kong is still up. No, no. Chicken Man gets down. Lizzie goes down. Yeah, Basalt gets Kong in the end there. Now, DSC are kind of running oh, around the back of this building here, right on top of the... Uh, what is it? The Gamma cap point. Oh, Longbow oh, CT. One, one touch. One tickle. This is not going well. This is not going well at all. At all for DSC. A lot Hello of butts. Kills Derek. A How lot of Dubix? butts. No, that's huge. That's huge. Dubix goes down. Chimera's leg. Chimera's just playing for for his life. Okay. Hollow does get Chimera. Okay, wait, oh. wait, wait. This is winnable. This is winnable. Wait, wait. Teloth is just standing okay. still farming. 
Just, just house needs to move doing, back to Stimrock. House cannot get caught just alone. Doing damage. The, the problem is like if the, if the if the lights oh, from man. Vile play this right, it should never be a win because they should always be able to avoid Stimrock and play two other caps. Yeah. The like, yeah the here. lights should be ready to run and cap. House is. Are we gonna have a bit of a flea duel here? No, mm, uh, I think I think Vile by the look of it is kind of saying, well, hey, look, the ad is legged. Let's just go everywhere else. And we'll be yeah. able to win on the caps. I mean, you, you can't 100%. not. 100%. That's what you do. This this game should be over, honestly, a lot closer than I expected. Um, yep. Yep, yep same. I agree. Yep. That, yeah. that was so, uh, very I think much the wild. only way this works is if they manage to catch somebody off guard. Are they coming back to fight for Gamma? They are. No. Oh, no. You know why? Because the Incubus can beam uh, the Adder relatively safely. Relatively oh, yeah, safely. Yeah, yeah. I think they're just also getting scouting info. Like they want to make sure yeah. that the adder is there. Oh wow, Salus is completely fresh. I, yeah, so completely fresh. Oh wow. The fact that House didn't get Gamma worries me. I but... mean, you, like you need to look for kills, kind of. But yeah, yeah, I guess. Oh House wow, House has of... got House has got magged, like magged in the CT. It is orange already yeah. from that. Bang! Just God, they hurt. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Dim is getting Gamma. If House gets Epsilon... Well, it's two cap, right? And then Vile have to go all the way to Kappa or come back and fight. You're never going to get Theta, though. Here's the thing. Like, the, with the beam lasers, you're never going to get Theta from mm. Vile. Yeah, it's House. true. Like, so, it's, it's actually... It's pretty hopeless. Yeah, Sella could essentially yeah. sit up on the hill here above Theta, overwatch it. Uh, Leprechaun goes, grabs the other two caps, and essentially use the Incubus as the Theta control mech. Now. Yeah. yeah. It's exactly what you yeah. do. And honestly, there's this is no pretty much Vile's game to lose. I don't... Uh, if they do yeah. do a critical misplay, maybe, but... I mean, here's the thing. It's, it is eight mag shots on a fleet. I just want to throw this out there because I have seen crazy things before. If House can headshot one of these two mechs, yep. <laughs> instantly that's the game true. can go in their, in their favor. Again. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. Because Alice does have no head armor, which... Uh, that's a ballsy thing to do in comp. I, I'm sure the fleet uh, only has like one armor as well, mm. if it has on head armor. So like he he will headshot one, either of them if he gets it. Oh, did that airstrike? Did that airstrike just hit Stim? I don't know if it did or not. So here's the thing. Oops. If Stim can get Gamma, and House can get Theta, Stim can deny both with his adder, which means that they might be able to force a fight. Now here comes the Theta, right? But, here comes the Theta tickle. It's what? just not gonna happen. House needs to give this up, and like he, you need to look for a kill. It's just you're never gonna. Oh, go so House of CT is it. even slightly more burnt now as well. So there's not a lot of armor on that CT uh, for that flea. And uh, now Vol have a three cap to none. Yeah, it seems yeah, that D. It seems that DSC's play is to try to eliminate a light in order to make it one light on the field, and then they can cap games safe, safely. Le uh, Leprechaun is coming back, so House very, very wisely pulls out, but... Yeah, but, like, he uh, needed to go earlier. You you need to do... And Stim is in the open now and getting beamed. That's not the good. The longer this goes... That's not good. Oh! oh! Leprechaun gets oh, a perfect wrong flank, flank, and oh, that's torso it. Oh, he torso him. Okay, yeah, Leprechaun torso yeah, him, and that's down. it. Yeah, he can just dive in on... Uh... Stimrog is one touch leg and Self is just farming it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much Stimrog's impossible. done a beautiful scenario. job shielding the leg. Mm, you, you need very. to try to just get that early kill. And then even if you're yeah. like one shot for it, then you try to play the caps with your two mechs. Uh, just the way he played it, it's just pretty much impossible to like actually win the drop, even though it's, it's kind of impossible no matter what. But only way you're going to win is if you get some kind Come of. Come on, Stimrog, get, get the Seleth headshot. Nope, he's aft. Yep, halved, almost legged. And Tickets are right over the other side as well. Yeah, Leprechaun's just chain firing. Oh yeah, he is. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> yeah, close drop though. Um, I think that it goes to show the strength of pushes in general. But mm. uh, the way Vile handled it, I think they handled it really excellently except for maybe their shadow cat getting picked over here because that probably gave like the only way for um you know vile to lose the game is if yeah. like one of your fast packs gets picked like that but uh but other than that pretty pretty clinical from vile pretty perfect damage uh, numbers run through it oh god oh mpg getting 11 in the storm crow that hurts a lot
Uh, Delith getting 785 in the Incubus, just beams and LMGs farming the whole game. Uh, the highest is Hollow getting 569 for well, the highest on, on DSC, of which he, he did some pretty good work in, in the Skull. I don't think anybody can, can deny him. He lived way longer than anybody thought he was going to, so... Yeah. All things considered, uh, for a strat that I thought had no chance of winning, DSC did pretty good. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you just look at the mechs that Bile brought, like the Bile Master has a heat quirk. They brought that instead of a Stalker. Uh, they're bringing this Incubus with Beam Lasers. Like, they're just so ready for this push. All right, I've yeah. uh, flicked over to the map strat if you guys want to have a quick doodle while I uh, move yeah, the brought... lobby around. They brought such a farm heavy deck. Uh, while G is doodling on the map strat, I'm actually going to go use restroom real quick. Go for it. So I'm just going to flip over the map strat and then be right back. Okay. Yeah, so DAC kind of did like this. And uh, you know, Vile went to normal spots and then they, they wrapped around like this um, with their Shadow Cat maybe getting some back shots then going over there. But uh, I think. DSC maybe didn't know for sure there was nothing on Delta 5 because they took this really like, you know, I'll, I'll use purple. I feel like they could have, you know, cut more directly in, but I feel like they didn't because if there is something Delta 5, they need to be able to clear that out and they just weren't sure. Um, and that probably was the difference in the game because if like the Stormcrow got got legged basically in Delta Five instead of yeah. Delta Six, if the Stormcrow had gotten in and then gotten legged, you know it'll still be a factor in that fight later on. Immediately but it got legged, legged so too. far, it's, like, it's, yeah, I mean, you see eleven damage. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's just too far. Immediately, and, uh, you have legged. better cover as well as soon as you're underneath these like rocks. So yeah, I definitely think if they could redo that drop, knowing there was nothing in Delta Five, their path would be more sharp towards the core of uh, of Vile. There was another one as well, but, just on the Gamma. There was almost like a little kind of a ring around the rosy here where a couple of um, DSC mechs got very butt shot. Um, and I mean, look, it's going to happen in a brawl like that occasionally, depending on positioning and whatnot. Um, and uh, that didn't, didn't quite help uh, the process, let's say. That was a pretty aggressive push when you look at it. And hey, for, for two mechs, for two mechs left, one of them being legged, you can't be completely unhappy with that, uh, I think, from DSC point of view. No, I mean, I think that that push, it would have beaten any other team, straight up. Yep. Um, yep. But Vile had the skill, and they brought the right mechs. Like, they, they had a trade deck, but it was definitely a very not greedy trade deck. And uh, I yeah. think that really sets the tone of what these teams are thinking. Vile, if, it, it's an, if they think if it's an even trade game, they're going to win. And so they're they're hedging their bets and making sure they're safe to any shenanigans. Uh, I thought, you know, maybe they're going to push to avoid that, but it seems like they're incredibly confident in their standard game. And so they're just going to make sure they bring enough counter brawl. Like, you know, a battle master instead of a stalker. So it's got a heat gen quirk, you know, incubus of beam lasers to make sure they don't die to anything aggressive and just play a standard game every time. Yeah, that, those things are important. Very similar to just something yeah. as small as a heat quirk. It's like, oh, it's only a heat quirk. It is, but it's massive. That, that, the amount of extra shooting you can do just from that is irreplaceable. Like, it's... Absolutely. It saves you. Absolutely saves you. Now, we are off to the bog. What do you think is going to happen here? Uh, team, this was a deliberate pick again um, for these teams. So, uh, I feel like... Uh, who picked it? It was... Yeah, DSC picked Bog, so they knew um, that they wouldn't have had the uh, side of the, the sorry, the choice of the side, I should say. Um, so with Vile on Team Two, DSC on Team One, are DSC going to push again or not? There is a not. trend of trend. people bringing thunderbolts on Bog. Oh, not boy. the mech, the weapon. <laughs> I want to see it again. I want. I. I love seeing thunderbolts in comp. They I, I are... can tell you what. Go ahead. Go ahead. The... No, it's fine. It's fine. I just wanted to because they're about. It looks like they might lock in here soon. Yeah. I think that Bile's gonna set up some big trader up here, probably one like over here, and they're gonna play a standard game based on what we just saw like in these last two games. I. I don't think they're gonna push. I think they're gonna set up to receive and just play a standard game. 
DSC, I have no idea what they're going to do. I hope they don't push, though, because I really don't think it's going to work. Uh, they're, very, what, uh, last they're very heavy in Charlie Lance uh, DSC. So they're obviously putting some vigs in these these areas, right? That's I, I, I would assume if you're fairly heavy Charlie with all of your big mech players, that's where they're going. They're, you know, in this, what is it? This sort of general quadrant or circle-ish of, of, of the map. Um, and it'll be up to, I guess, where where does Vile end up um, in their lands initially? Because you'll have, uh, obviously, your roaming uh, sort of medium or whatever. There's going to be something out here, maybe out here early, maybe even out here to sort of scout up here early to scout down potentially as well. Again, you can kind of run that side to scout down. I feel like Theta's very key on this map. Um, if you take it, you can control it. Or you deny it. It's uh, it's kind of a pick. Which 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 way do you go, right? Well, team one doesn't. You don't entirely have to go for theta. Um, if you ignore theta and then just go on the north side, team one can do gamma epsi and try to fight for kappa, and team two can do sigma kappa and try to fight for epsi. So we have seen some teams forego theta, but I. Uh, Look at that. Know, Vile has been playing very cookie cutter so far, in my opinion, as far as where they start with their uh, initial mech setup. So I wouldn't be surprised if they sent a mech or two. Like I wouldn't, I don't, I don't, I don't see them like hardcore fighting for Theta. Like you know, do or die, we play here. But I think that they'll definitely send a lighter to just like you know, just to see if it's free. And they're basically Alpha Charlie. Yeah, for Vile as well. So it's all, it seems to be the bottom bottom side of the map, left or right, depending on which way you come from. But uh, they're all locked in. Let's, uh, let's get into it. I don't think that, uh, that DSC would have changed their plans at all. I think whatever strats they've come up with, they, they're not going to change them just because, they, you know, they've lost two drops. Um, oh, yeah. Definitely been down in matches before, like these players. And they're not one to crumble because of that. So... Also, just swapping your strats at the at 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 the last minute just never goes well. No, I... it does not. <laughs> Again, but it's up to most of the time, it definitely does not. I definitely. can count on one hand in my five plus years of playing comp the amount of times that I've gone. Let's change our strat at like the last second, and it's worked out well. You can uh, let me know once there. we're in the game, and then I can hop in. Yeah, uh, they're still loading in, it looks like. Oh, SRM Jenna and SRM Arctic Wolf here. Now, this is probably, uh, I've just had a quick look through the builds uh, of uh, DSC here. They've got two brawlers, the Jenna Arctic Wolf are brawling, um, and everything else, uh, Cougars, Beams, uh, Stone Rhino, Yalaj, you know, the, the usual sort of stuff you would expect from the mechs being selected. It's just the Arctic Wolf and the Jenna, a shotgun, like bombers. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. And have a quick look at the Vile builds. I don't know what's going. I don't know how you pull off SRMs. Like, where are you going to go? How are you going to do that? I, Easily. I'm very suspicious of this cougar. I will say. The beam cougar. Um, yes, I. <laughs> I am incredibly suspicious of it. The SRMs I can see for going for a gank or for being counter pushed. MPG loves that mech. It's gonna do anything, man. I am very concerned for DSC. Four AC um, ten yeah. one plasma for the stone rhino here for Mr. Kong. That's interesting. That's fast. Yeah. It's really fast. It's very fast. Yeah, maybe a big TC as well. Maybe. For velocity to hit lights. Or two jump jets as yep, well. Okay. So that Lizzie helps. going up to the spot I talked about. Kong is Great not open. running a, a TC in his stone right now. He's just going 61. He's going fast. Uh, by the way, useless in skirmishes, not very good in aggression. It's pretty much just a cat bot. And yeah i mean two i mean two medium x poles with a giant cooldown quirk might be able to do a little damage but yeah definitely not a premier light uh light fighter dsc or uh has it's two mechs going up script. north looking to get kappa mm. however scout derek is right here and oh wait no they're waiting they're waiting for derek to walk in they're waiting for somebody to get epsilon they're bombers 100 percent. yeah 100 they're waiting ambush. for hollow to spot waiting for hollow to spot something that moved up and shot him and then they just uh jump him 
Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm waiting for that Derek ambush to is happen. Derek playing it super safe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's moving. He's, well, he's... Yeah, so oh, if they jump oh. Derek right now, they kill him. They're he's going, they're going, they're going. Oh, this is, this is so important. Like... Yeah, he definitely overstepped. It's a, I want, I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. They need to get this pick, though. Oh, they, no, they, oh, they missed off. it. Oh, dear. Derek's leg is wrecked. Scared. Derek, re Derek's oh, leg is wrecked. They took a oh, single wow. gosh shot from, from, uh, from Aldeus and decided it's time to leave. Yeah, that was That a is... Oh, dear. A little pain to watch. They, they might not have had scouting info where all the lights are, though. It's like, look at how far ba Bowser is. Oh, shit, sorry. Um, yeah, like, it's true. Tell it. Like, they, maybe they thought that they were going to run to more lights coming over, and that's why they built. I will Bing. say that that spot in particular, oh. I'm going to guess that the UAV was not detecting them because it's tall enough. Yeah. And uh, the rock was, yeah. Right so it's just yeah, a, the rock seemed to be cutting LOS on, on the UAV. Now just yeah, a trade so really fest right now. Spot. If Everyone's given up Theta. Like everyone has just given up trying to, to take Theta at this point. Just waiting, 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 and no one is doing anything. Like it, both, yeah, both like, teams have the, said not. The, the problem is like DSC is losing now because they didn't get that pick. Because uh, they put a lot of eggs into that basket. Yeah. The reality is, Bio which, has more skirmish. Way more skirmish. Way more. So, of which way Derek more. is coming back. Uh, and as small. long as Kong and, and, and Adeus are here, Kappa isn't really an option to steal. So. See, but I mean, now I Derek has come back, and if there's no SRM bombers there and they're spotted elsewhere on the map, Derek can now come around the top. Gonna be a bit risky considering he's almost half legged. Uh, too too empty. I don't understand this cooter. I, I, I don't know what it does. Assault's down to seventy per percent in the storm right now. Yeah, just. I mean, it's spread at least, but yeah, he's his CT's. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. So that hurts. we've got to move on here from Vile. I... Vile is moving. Uh, if you can see the stone rhino is coming up. Derek is uh, scouting oh, on yeah. this side here. Uh, Incubus is moving up, and the Mad Cat is moving up. Uh, or Deus moving up as well. So Vile is seems moving. to be aware of it. Maybe. Yeah, they are. Maybe. Um, but they got the two bombers over the back here, uh, Chicken and Windscape, right? I mean, the bombers aren't going to be able to do too much if four Vile come around that corner. Or oh, Hollow, so for that matter. MPG and Stimrog are still just both sitting on Theta, though. I'm not sure if I like that. I'm not sure what MPG has been doing this match, though. Uh, I, know, I don't think you can do anything with that mech. Like if he was in a gen or something, he could skirmish and try to help get Stim get so, the no, but like DSC know that there is more aggression coming from the left because Nyan uh, has just jumped further back up to the ridge further behind, which gives far more overwatch across the map to that left side of the map. But yeah, Vile have good, backed good off. <laughs> After all that, Vile have backed off from going and doing it in the end. Okay. No, they're gonna they're gonna eventually push this corner. They're looking at, at getting Epsi because Theta just got flipped. Yep. Uh, Stim managed to yep. just get it. I don't know how he got it. Great play from Stim. He shouldn't have gotten it that's with uh, what Bile has looking at it. But yeah, great play from Stim. That's how they win this game is they hold- Chimera's walking up. Caps. Looks like Vile is gearing up for a push on Theta. Yep, certainly looks like Which, it. There's I mean, four makes mix. sense. Uh, I don't know if they've gotten a target read on-, on basalt yet well, but just okay, looking at where the, the can do things though i'm just looking at where the targets yeah. are right like you've got dsc are way more spread out and vile are ready to come over the top and crush from theta from uh, what is that the middle e5 region all the yeah. way in if the opportunity presents itself they are ready for it dsc at the moment aren't yeah if yeah, they actually ooh, the salt is weak too really jump them yeah actually the mpg and house setting up they have a brutal beam cro crossfire here that i think they can just deny theta and nine has come back definitely again over MPG's here his mech went from being useless to being amazing just because stim got that cap that is just i cannot yeah. stress how big yeah. of a deal that is to get that cap. yeah beams are maybe the best captain out over bowser and uh leprechaun seem to be inching forward trying to see if they can get a shot on house i uh, slowly i'd be slowly. a little concerned if i was house because a beam shadow cap may not be too inclined oh, to trade it's, with on, something it's, on, with it's on it's on it's on it's on it's on it's moved yep Vile have all started Mary's to move forward theta. yep Stealth oh, is walking in. all of them looking hard at lizzie Ooh, is jesus new is neutralized and mpg is forced to back off yep Vile might Assault's get it here down here yep I think they have to let Basalt go. House needs to bail and get out. Yeah, and use the SRM yeah, bombers the later on when they get closer. To... Okay, Sims the SRM max need to start need to start bombing now. Chicken Man is about to bomb man, yeah. on on Aldeus. 
Oh, gets a beautiful back shot. But, but. Oh, McWarrior numbers. Doesn't quite get it. Hits the leg. He's. Oh, he's one shot I think he's going end. for the pelvis. Come on, chicken. One him. more shot. One more shot. One more. There we go. Okay, there we go. So yep. that's an assault for assault. Chimera's down to 58%. Assault for an assault. Nine is uh, getting shot in the butt, though, just there. Nine just got, like, clipped from across the map um, from one of the other guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that hurts. Magic oh. in a great position trying to keep House alive, but he's going to get jumped in a second here by this... Uh, yeah, see, House... Kong's about to go down. See, Jenna, the Jenna of Bowser and uh, Incubus of the right there on House as well. I can move over to start harassing him. PG. Okay. Um, yeah, see, oh bombing are moving in. Yep. Yeah, yep. Gets a yeah back shot there on Kong, yep. That was that's pretty big. DSC, DSC gets Vile, uh gets Vile's home cap. I think th I think that solidified their win. No, no, I think as long huge. as he can it's live. Like, between Chicken and Leprechaun, this could this could decide things. Chicken gets legged. Yeah. He does not America get goes down. Leg. Yeah, Chicken is leg. Um, chicken is open on the other leg as well. Where is Derek? Derek's leg is still fresh. Well, fresh he says, and it hasn't been taken off when it kind of should have been a while ago. MPG is about to leg him though. MPG is farming him so much. Yep. Well, so Emma's go going going down. MPG. Oh, that spider is coming in handy right now, though. Completely out of the fight, just capping. Yep. DSC, yeah. Stim is getting Kappa. It's I think just if caps. DSC can win for... I, I think if DSC can just live for a little longer, they'll win this on caps. It's all just on caps. Yeah. And they're all on Leprechaun. Oh, my if, God. I, I, I think if they can leg Leprechaun or Seleth, that'll oh, be enough. Well, it's MPG on Seleth here. Oops, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so yeah MPG's going to get legs <laughs> by uh, the other beamer and the machine guns. Oh my god, it's such a busy Landscape thing to keep is up. so heat-capped. I don't think he can keep up with the flea. No, he can't. Yeah, he I has think, to run away, and he point, is. Though. The ticket sees three cap to one cap. The tickets are 160, 150 in front right now. It's definitely looking DSC. DSC. It's definitely yeah, looking DSC. Yep. Winscape just needs to get a single good shot on the flea. Winscape's leg. Winscape's leg and Theta. Theta just got flipped as well. Winscape leg. Theta flipped. Can they do it? I, oh, oh, still no. With the all chat wrong. banter, right back at Bowser from the beginning. There we You'll go. Four cap. Four cap. To see it. That capping oh, spider has the absolutely stinky oh, spider. My goodness, goodness me. Yeah. Wow. Busy, busy game. I love the banter. I love the match so far because now we're two one. Man, and Sim has every right to all chat. I don't know how he got that. I really wish I was watching that because that yeah. is what won them the game, straight up. Like, yeah. I do not, not having see a world that they win this game if he does not get Theta for for DSC, because that was everything. Suddenly, Magic actually can function, and it's on Vile to push and Dimrog with the one damage. <laughs> one damage, but the most impact of anyone in this entire match. In my <laughs> I'm not sure which one is worse. One or zero. I think a zero would have been better than one. Uh, uh, Lizzie getting 659 in the Executioner, just Overwatch farming all game. Uh, Basalt getting five, getting 507 and dead. Basalt was kind of trading like w like 1v3 the whole match. Yeah, yeah uh, he, had a, he, he was quite weak quite, quite early. Too. Yeah, quite weak, yeah. quite early. Yeah, had, kind of got pinned in the corner. Um, I mean, when, when the Vile guys came around that corner, he was already cherry CT with the armor. So, oh, busy game. Uh, Mapstrat, have a... Uh, you're gonna have to, this is going to be a very quick one uh, while I swap around the lobby because we've got um, Bearclaw to talk about after, which will also be very busy. Yeah, so the like fact thought... that Derek survived. Yeah, yeah right? Of... Yeah, yeah. Set up their assaults in like FA and D7 and Mad Cat and XE respectively. And uh, they played a very standard game at one point. Shadowcat moved up to D5. Amazing ambush spot because it's hidden from UAVs from DSC, but got a little bit too scared. Probably didn't have the scouting info that that Shadowcat was very isolated. And so they pulled out before they could get the kill. But they did open his leg. But the real story of this game is Stimrog somehow getting Theta when there's a Jenner with heavy mediums and I believe an Incubus down there on Theta, or maybe it was the Flea, and, and an Overwatch mech in F8, all looking at Theta. And somehow Stimrog gets, gets that, with basically no help, no skirmish uh, help from his team. Crazy that he gets that cap, but that's the story of this game. What do you guys think? Would you agree with me there? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm trying to think of 
how of what Vile could have done to win that, or what Vile could have changed to win that. I mean, don't um, let him cap Theta. <laughs> I don't it's know. true. Like, don't let him cap Theta. Maybe aggress the Theta fight a little bit sooner. That uh, that that way the fight is more wrapped up, and Stim doesn't have as much time to cap. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that that you're right, but they also had to wait for like their Mad Cat to move up. I don't like how the Mad Cat positions, by the way, and he they get ganked for basically free. You mean you knew that they had yeah. SRM mech? So going by yourself in an assault mech like that, you're basically just like putting yourself on a platter. I think he would he had time if he rotated earlier to kind of push the inside line, like E7, E6, maybe even come up to this side and have uh you know have a light kind of waiting with him for a bit and then push later and look for caps later. Mm. But uh other than that, I still think it's it's a tough situation having to push into two SRM Brawl mechs, two beam mechs, and a bunch of Overwatch on high ground. Yeah. When you have to but push which it is amazing back. that the moment DSC got the cap advantage, that 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 cougar went from not doing anything to instant MVP. And just drawing the yeah, lights, no, like, the, the SRM bombers here, they were, they were just sort of patrolling the sort of back end, you know, <laughs> all the way out here. Just backwards oh, yeah. forward they back were just forwards. salivating at the thought of somebody getting epsilon yeah yeah so after I'm... that gank failed basically like the two srm mechs and the the cougar did nothing yep. until they got theta like those mechs are actually useless if they're not going to push into you in that situation so like getting theta forces them to push into it and then what happens well the srm mechs get a free pick on a mad cat the cougar can deny caps and rack up damage all day long it, it's just i have not i don't think i've ever seen a situation where like a, a single cap has such a huge impact on like how the match, like how the rest of that uh, drop is going to play out. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, and, I, I yeah. don't think I've seen a mat, uh, especially, you know, one damage cap spider just shifting a game, absolutely forcing a team's hand. And it was relatively at that point, apps even, I mean, it, was, it had been two cap versus two cap for what? Over a third of the game. <laughs> and all of a sudden, 30 tickets later, it's like, oh, oh shit, we now need to do something because we've already got about four, I think it's about 400, 420 tickets each. So as soon as one team's 30, 40 ahead, your timer has been run down significantly by that point. Oh, yeah, 100%. Wow. Yeah, and, and obviously the call for the Spider to go for the backup and stuff is, is great, of course, but that's just doing his job. I don't think that's that, that was anything particularly special. But DSC, you know, they're down a mech. And they still put up one hell of a fight against that push. And, you know, obviously Vile is great shots and whatnot. And they had the beams and the SRMs and whatnot, but uh, still pretty impressive because they are just playing a straight straight up a mech down with that spider with one damage, right? Yeah. So, uh, well, almost. Very, very well played from them. Yeah, I mean, a mech down at one point. But you think about there was two SRM bombers and the, well, they weren't really doing a hell of a lot after the Derek thing until that cap so there was about three minutes where you'd probably say that vile had more firepower to use and couldn't or didn't for yeah all sorts of reasons yeah 100 percent agree with you yeah vile's gotta be more careful if you're if you're gonna play a standard game you cannot be letting those caps slip from you especially if you have a bunch of skirmishers in overwatch looking at it like you know stimrog's known for that spider he loves that thing yeah. and uh yeah yeah gotta keep driving the cap <laughs> you know yeah. i wish i was yeah. watching it to see like did somebody distract them because i i don't know what else they'd be doing with like a heavy medium laser Geno. did he move up and was trying to like, get paw shots on something I, I don't actually know but uh we yeah, may never know we may find out later but anyway let's get over to bear claw with team one being vile and team two being dsc what do we think's gonna happen a bit too long sorry <laughs> um, no, no, that's right yeah um they're not, they're not even locked in yet mate don't worry about it <laughs> yeah yeah so d7 i believe is a great spot for putting like a battle master or something it's kind of like a high ground spot i think you can walk up to and uh gets great lines like towards the center i believe i'm not as experienced in this map but i remember seeing that quite a lot and it can easily rotate and watch epsi i think that neither yeah. of these teams are gonna get epsi early i'll say that yeah, I wouldn't dressed. be surprised though because these because uh DSC is kind of a team that in my experience uh, I don't want to say allergic to but they very much like to set up their bigs to be pretty stagnant. So I'm thinking that D that DSC will probably set up something here 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 and just try to hold this three cap and sort of let Vile do do whatever they may. But on the other hand though. 
I... Mm, I are locked I, in Bravo I, Alpha, I, by the way, so they're heavy on the right side of the map. DSC is? Uh, no, no, no. Vile is heavy Bravo Alpha, so they're locked in on that right side. Okay, so Vile may be trying to mirror the same thing. Uh, it could be something similar to what to what we saw in uh in two in two twenty against Mantra, where both teams are just fully intent on playing for Theta and Epsilon, and they don't care about Kappa at all, and they're just gonna have a big fight right here. No, uh, I think we're gonna see at least one mech go to Kappa, and I'm very interested to see how many lights these teams send and yeah. if there's a fight there, because if it, it could yeah. be like a two on two light fight. Yeah, Kappa is kind of a nuclear arms race where we where it started the meta started with send one light to get kappa ignore it and then some and then some teams started to send two lights to kappa so then they can gank the one light and then you have teams <laughs> like say fjrd who's like what if we send six mechs to kappa so we can gank anything so i'm a little curious to see how confident each team will be here on their on their kappa light or maybe kappa wolf pack yeah, you can scout it and be careful, or you could just like full send on it and hope to catch something. There's a lot of ways to approach Kappa, but if one team plays for it and one team doesn't, uh, it takes so long to get over there, and it's so from the far from the fight. You are playing at a huge tempo loss if the other team just like gets Kappa and for free, and then walks back over. Because uh, even just send like a flea over there, it's at, it's out of the game for so long to get that cap like later on that the enemy could often like push during that time or make an aggressive movements knowing that you have a mech out of the fight. So really important cap there. All opinion. right. If well, teams are playing standard. here we are. Drop number four. It is the Vile uh, two wins to DSC's one at the moment. It is a best of seven. So we could be going a while yet. Some very, very tight games. Very interesting result last match. What are we going to have in this game? So far on the Vile side, we've got uh, Shadowcat Kid Fox. Kid Fox! SR6, uh, Crusader, Exe, Bloodass, Rancor, which will be ER Large, I imagine, Jenna, and a Fleas. What do we got on the other side? Uh, I am still loading in, so if G Ram wants oh. to take that. Okay. Absolutely, we'll take that over. We got magic with uh, beam lasers, light machine guns on a Shadow Cat, Ice Fair of Heavy Smalls. That's interesting. It's got a stutter fire that. Machine gun, Small Paws, Viper, uh, ER Large, ER Medium, Micro Laser, Stone Reno. Goss, your large Star Wolf. Your oh, large wow. Micro Pulse, Xe, Stimrog with heavy medium is and Narcs on Jenner and Mag Shot Fleet. DSC are coming hard on this right side, like hard out here. They're gonna, they're actually gonna try to get Epsi, which I think is a bit crazy because it's so easy to get your legs tased off if a bunch of traders yeah. suddenly wrap the corner on that. But they're yeah. actually going for uh, Kappa and Epsi and giving up Theta entirely. This is super hold interesting. Hold up. Hold up. Like Salt's in a jumping dire. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Is he, is, he a a is he going up on this cliff, maybe? Is he going up on the rock he side? Must, he must be. Yo. You might be able to do this in two jumps. Oh, man. We, maybe we get to see some science here. Okay, but they're not going to get Epsi. They are going to get harassed by this by Bowser and Kitbox. If they knew he was alone, they might actually pressure and kill him together. But uh, Basalt's jumping up. Yeah, up. he is. You must be able to get all the way up here. Yeah, you oh my must goodness. be. Oh, wow. This is scary, though, because if you if you have strats like this planned out and you don't get the jumps off, you're actually, like, your team is usually... Yeah. So, you know, in interestingly trouble. enough, if you look at DSC on Kappa, they have, they have actually mirrored FC. it. They have, they have uh, MPG on Overwatch in the back of the map with probably oh, they've got ER Epsi. large Shadowcat. They just managed oh, no, to skip Epsi. Yeah, beam beams do reach there barely. They 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 tickle, but they can deny the cap. So you have okay. an ER large dire wolf sitting on the back of the map over Epsilon, and an ER large dire and, a, and an ER large shadow cat sitting in the back of the map okay. over Kappa. We, we gotta talk you about have your home cat almost dying though. Sim is almost dying. He he somehow gets out. He really shouldn't have, in my opinion. They're still kind of chasing him. They're looking to get to get his leg. Oh, yeah. I think it's smoking. Oh no, he's actually not even taking that much damage somehow. But yeah, he somehow gets Epsi and gets out. That's crazy. I thought they were going to at least trade the pick for him. This is... This is an okay. interesting thing because all of, DS, <laughs> all of DSC is stacked over here. And it's all about the Kappa denial. I'm assuming you can deny uh, MPG. Was he over the top there? Kappa. Because if he can't deny Kappa, so, DSC are in trouble. He can. 
He must be, yeah. So yeah, one thing I do want to point out is that because is that basalt and stim are so high above the cap point, you can't hide behind it to cap. They will have full lines. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and uh, okay, so, so oh, I the like from this. Bio, the, the, this is a crazy smart strat, and honestly, like this kind of just goes to show that like DSC has done their homework and they are planning on outstratting. Vile to win. Yes. Oh, Leprechaun is being chased over the pack here with Spice Stim Leprechaun, and House. Yeah, he, oh, he he's to, almost legged. He, almost. he tried to run in on a kill on Stim and just completely ignored House. Uh, Kong is coming to the Kong is coming to save the day, but I don't know. Even then, what does Vile do here? Do you just try to kill the low ground mech so then you can isolate the cap, uh, the cap deniers at the end? But even then, can Absolutely. you do that in time? I come I inside. You, you, you go just inside. Bring your, I think you bring your long range out into the open and you just basically, you form a firing line on FC and you just out trade them. You play whack-a-mole. Yeah. It's the only way to do it. You cannot, you cannot do what in big trouble now. as well. Look like, look like Salafi is in a strike or cook, cooked himself maybe as well, perhaps. Okay. Like the other thing you could do is you could bring Chimera over to Kappa and basically just like again stand on Kappa and shoot the Shao Cat every single time it pokes to deny. But like you're doing it so late. If this was your play, you should have done it earlier. DSC have moved still not all the way out. Get up and, and, and get aggro. Look how far DSC are. Look where they are. They are in the back of the map, like the back corner they, of the map. Vile just clearly is bamboozled. They just don't know what to do. Like, okay, they're going to go for Gamma, I guess, but I don't think so, that's going to work, right? MPG can't deny Gamma. Assault oh, will have trouble denying Epsilon. So no, I think you can deny Gamma. No, this or, is going to be no, no. Gamma's gamma, gamma's man. the problem here because DSC have three mechs versus Vols two, and Leprechaun is almost legged, right? Like he's open. Oh, sorry, so, no, 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 no. Vol have three now. Sorry, I'm, I'm no, my mistake. Oh, Nos uh, gets hard burned in, yeah. in the leg. Yeah. House is red, but, both legs. That's that. That's not good. Uh, MPG, MPG dropped off Kappa. Wait, 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 Why did he do that? I don't know. Oh, is it because uh, Stimrog called Celis it? Celis is right. there. Stimrog is running in. This is going to be some Jenner on Jenner combat see, here. The Salt's got Overwatch so on. Though. The Salt's got Overwatch on Gamma relatively as well. I mean, obviously you can't Celis watch everything. doesn't know Stimrog's there. Stimrog. And, and MPG came back. Oh, he went oh, for his Simrock rear. gets a hard burn on uh, Celeth's rear. Celeth barely survives. But... Uh, oh, yeah. Celeth lost. Almost. A little, a little bit caught in the open here, but it's okay. He's not getting shot by too, anything too big. Like, the Vile's traders are just so late to the action. Finally, Chimera's going to round this corner and kill Celeth. Uh, Celeth just lost one of his weapons, by the way. Uh, arm gone, so that's uh, two medium, heavy mediums gone. That's That's a problem. Let's see what Basalt decides to shoot. Does he focus on the cap or does he shoot Chimera? He's shooting Chimera now, which means that maybe they can get this Gamma cap. I don't like this play from Basalt. I don't they think hold this cap. maybe. Yeah. Even then, a two cap wins this though. Yeah, yeah but like, I, I think it's a mistake to shoot these mechs instead of the ones on the cap and they do, do decap Gamma. Magic wasn't yeah, back but... in time. Because now stack. DSC are, are locked right into this back However, corner. Um, DSC is sending somebody to get the home cap. Yeah, that must be Stim. MPG going on a wide flank. Oh my gosh, this is just such an amazing strategy. Yeah, from Stim, Stim is going to get Sigma. Oh, MPG Delph gets Leprechaun, get yeah. However, Jan is, House is waiting there. Fall, but she's holding the corner the best she can. Basalt, giving that Overwatch fire, Chimera eats a bunch of shit on that corner. He's open CT as well. Yeah, yeah, Lilith runs fall. straight into House. Still didn't bleeding, even see House. They're bleeding heaps Celeth of armor like, on this corner with Basalt and everything. Basalt is getting airstruck. To the living heavens. Yeah, goes down. Yeah. The chicken's still alive in that corner. Leg shielding. Excellent, excellent leg shield. And you can see Audios just doesn't know what to do. Uh, he's trying to get that other leg, but it's just not going to happen. He's an ear large uh, blood asp. You know, he's only got two ear large at this point. Oh, uh, Kong's legs is almost almost dead there as well. Lizzie is just about done too. Yeah, this scrap out the back here is not not going well at all. Not not going well at all. Yeah, no, so, I mean, DSD basically have just completely outsmarted Vile. And yep. not only that, but, like, Vile didn't know what to do. And I'm not sure if that's on their drop call or the team as a whole, but, like, they reacted about as bad as you can. They wasted a bunch of time doing nothing, trying to grab the side caps. They took a long time to figure out what the opponent's strategy was. They let them get those early caps for free. And then they weren't decisive with what they wanted to do. They, like, they took a long time to do it.
and I don't even think it was the right call. I think it was probably the worst thing they could have done. I also think, for, uh, if, for I think the best yeah. way Vile could have won that is that if they sent their lights to kill MPG and use that as a screen to get Kappa, and then that'll instantly shatter the three cap. I mean, you say Damage, send their lights, but like what lights do they have that are going to jump up there, man? Nothing. That's true. I doubt That's that true. Jenner has enough jump jets. I really think they just need to bring their traders to one of the caps, sit on it, and I'll trade them. And just say, like, no, Basalt we're getting this cap. All right, we're damage numbers, back. guys. Wow, wow, wow. Basalt getting yeah, yeah. 818 damage, just sitting up farming. MPG getting 113. He clearly didn't have the range. He was just trying to scratch to get the cap the whole match. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Uh... Lizzie getting 413, which is the best for Vile here. That's a little sad to see. Chicken getting 549, very good in a skirmish Viper, but uh mm. yeah, I don't know. Uh so I have I have a bit of a in a, a bit of confession to make. Um we scrimmed DSC before Comp Q ended. Like before we even left Comp Q, and we saw a very early form of this strat. And I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And I've had to keep a <laughs> lid on it this whole time. I've had to not tell anybody about this oh, strat man. for so long. And I hated it so much because I thought it was amazing. And I couldn't talk to anybody about it. However, I will say we saw a very preliminary form of, of this strat. We saw it before they learned they could put the Shadow Cat up there. So it was very what nice to see that they had grown. What a what a genius strategy, honestly, and just shows the amount of time like to math out those spots and such a clear, concise playing of that strategy too. Like well, everybody on DSC side knew what to do and what their roles were, and they did them excellently. Do you want to give it a bit of a draw on the uh, map strat there, and then we'll do uh, a very quick one, and then we'll do oh some boy. terra therma because terra therma is also very very busy. So what, I feel like we have map strat. I I just wanted to point out that. Uh, you know, these strats are pretty much one-time uses. Um, oh, yeah. And I'm, a, like, I think if, like, if, the, if DSC wins this, like, I definitely can, like, Vile's definitely going to come prepared for this stuff and they, if they meet them again in the grand final. It's going to be hard yeah. for DSC to use these type of strats to win twice if, it goes, if they meet them in the grand final. Like, DSC's that pulling out everything sad. they have today. Yeah, that exactly. being said, if they do meet, if, if Vile and, and DSC do come head to head in the grand, in, in the grand final, you know that when the map ban occurs, Vile's priority will be do not let them get team two on Bear Claw. <laughs> yeah, that will definitely uh, be in their mind. <laughs> they will 100% not pick the map. They know that they will need to pick the side, of which that's fair. If you, if you think that your opponent has a strat you can't answer, that is... 100% a fair a, a fair response but all right do some because quick, i mean quick doodling guys uh, was, for the people at home players at home some uh, yeah. just to explain so, that strat so just both, quickly yeah so the team team 2 uh, DSC jumped up on both these high ground that just you just circled and basically their idea was to control gamma kappa and epsi which you would think is very very difficult to do almost impossible to do because those are three very very far caps from each other but they utilize these high ground angles to basically have just one mech to deny each of those caps, and then had six mechs that would, were able to float uh, as needed in between all three of those caps. Um, Vile, on the other hand, you know they, they went for a more standard, we'll grab Sigma, we'll grab Theta, with plans to just grab their third cap wherever DSC was weakest. They didn't find that. And so what happened was their traders kind of just faffed around the center maybe took some bad peaks on the side a couple times but they weren't decisive until very late in the game and then they actually went for gamma which is probably the worst place you can go for because it's directly in the center of all of dsc's mechs if they had gone for maybe epsi and even if they're standing out in the open just try to force the star wolf down uh or had gone for kappa and done the same to the shadow cat they probably would have stood a better chance but uh but yeah they they panicked i think a bit and they ended up pushing gamma which just put themselves in a crossfire yeah Pretty good summary. Maybe they, oh boy. Uh, maybe something Vile could have done is that if they sent an assault mech out to, like, say, here, uh, and and pretty much the call being, the, the call given would be, you need to trade with the Dire. You're not going to win trades. You're going to burn a fuck ton of armor, but just screen while I get 
Epsilon, you know, somebody coming out to screen to burn to to burn the dire because then basalt in the dire needs to choose. Do I shoot the guy shooting me or do I or or do I shoot to hold the caps? Some something in order to make them feel like, you know, uh, because if it is only one mech up high, you only have to suppress one uh, one mech. But on the other hand, though, I didn't really have the range to suppress. Basalt. You had like a quad ER large, like CR med stone rhino, and that's not a lot. <laughs> yeah, so. it, it's tough, but you you have to do it because. And the, the the thing is, if you get one of those side caps, it's like how how is DAC gonna get it back? Really? Like they have all these yeah. mechs that are really far back and slow. Then the theta cap suddenly you have theta, and you have this side cap. You can play super passive. Let them come to you. Let them go out of position. Even if you bled a bunch of armor for that, you have to try. You know. Well, so. Now to Terra, which we know from many games so far with DSC is how they play Team 2. What do you do as Vile? I, I'm just so excited it's 2-2 two, two and the best yep. of 4, because I've yep. never actually had a best of 4. So, <laughs> it's always best of 5, or best, best so, of 7, sorry. Yeah, we're going uh, to Kappa, two more games. Sigma, Gamma, Hold. I'd say there's a 99% chance DSC will do that. So... In KDCM, we actually scienced out a strat for that, uh, or scienced out a theoretical way to, to, to counter that, and that is that Team 2 needs to put every egg into the basket of Gamma. So, uh, DSC will have two mechs. They will have a mech in the back here, as, uh, as, as circled, and they will have a mech on top, on, on, on top of Kappa. You need two mechs to screen. You need a mech to screen here to trade against the dire, and you need a light to screen here to trade against whatever they put in gamma. Uh, last time it was a hunchback 2C, and you need to get gamma. If you can get gamma, you can hold gamma theta epsilon almost effort uh, effortlessly. But if you can't hold it, and you and and you lose sigma, of which you probably will, you're done. It's over. Mm -hmm. I. I it's it's all good. It's all going to be about screening and trying to steal a single cap. I think uh, I'm going to be honest. I think that if DSC decides to go for that, hold the cap of Gamma Sigma, I think they will lose. Because I think if you know your opponent is going to do it and they've shown that they that strap before, it's a very easy and simple way to counter it is have mechs on like this hill kind of in Theta where I'm circling now. Um, looking yeah. at Sigma and like some kind of faster but like uh mid-range skirmish mechs around the back here and they will never they will never get sigma from you and this pretty mech much on what Kappa, mantra did earlier will have no lines <laughs> mantra did that They'll earlier no they lines. stuck their guys right on fox 7 as you said so mm. yeah and uh i think that if if vile does that then there's no way dsc will win because that assault mech above kappa literally out of the fight will never do anything it'll never be able to pressure theta it'll never be able to help you flip sigma and uh that mech in the back by watching Gamma, like you mentioned as well, will probably have to move up and you'll probably end up having to try to get Theta. But really, you're just going to be a mech down because of that slow mech on Kappa. So, so DSC I really hope yeah. probably thinking, uh, like you said just then, sort of Kappa, Sigma, Gamma. But to Vile, Theta is the important one for them because you can just deny the Sigma. Yeah, I, I absolutely think Vile is going to play for like Theta, Sigma, Epsi. Mm -hmm. I'd be very surprised if they do that gamma movie you're talking about, Tio, so that I can I can see the merit in it. I think it's like uh kind of overcomplicating a bit. Like I really think that you can hold Sigma from like D8 yeah. uh, and from Theta. And uh, it's yeah. on the other team to put somehow push out and dislodge you from Sigma because team one gets the Sigma cap before it can be denied at the beginning of the game. Like you have to find a way to force the Overwatch off and get that cap if you're trying to play Cap by Gamma Sigma, which is not easy to do. Yeah, that's uh, true. That is uh that it that is definitely a real thing and i think that if i think that if dsc does do does do this strat then the hardest the hardest hurdle will definitely be the for the first one of trying to steal sigma but mm -hmm. i don't know uh dsc has also been unveiling some super weird strats so maybe they're gonna pull the same thing they did on bear claw where they just have some single strat just waiting to to be to be shown off here just looking well, at the reality lances. is vile lost two games now because they are not watching the caps 
uh, bog. Yeah, they were just asleep at the wheel on Theta. And in that second one, they let both side caps get grabbed for free. And uh, yep. I, I would seriously doubt they would let it happen again on Sigma. Like, if that happens, I'm definitely like going to be questioning what Vile is doing. They really should not be letting Sigma go easily. Um, but the Lancers are kind of like what you talked about with Charlie being really heavy. Charlie, like, Charlie Bravo, Bravo, this one, yeah, for Team 2. I just something about that. So yeah. maybe you're right, Team. Maybe that's what they plan on doing here. I, I don't think it'll work if they do it, but uh, I'm ready to be surprised. I would say it's been their most tried and true strat this year. So well, they came I out with say, it early. I would say they came out with it early yeah. and did really well with it and surprised. Oh, geez, who they played first round? They absolutely just like what? Completely, completely dominated the and game. And I think that I think the biggest thing about it is how many teams we've tried, we've seen try to emulate it and just fail mm. utterly. I, because I, I'm gonna be honest, it's a strat that uh. I'm not sure. I'm not definitely not claiming I made it or something, but I made something similar for Fidelis in an earlier tournament. And uh, the strategy, it it needs you to be better than your opponent, basically, because you need to be able yeah. to outtrade them and slowly push them off Sigma down a mech, essentially. And if you yeah. can't do that, then you're never going to get a Sigma. So to bring it out against Vile, I don't know. We'll see. Well, do you it's... think we'll do you think we'll see something like the cap spider or the cap uh, locust, something to help get that on on Sigma? I mean, very possible. Sim has been working magic with the, these caps, so like, <laughs> I'm definitely not counting it out. If they can get Sigma, I think they would win. I just don't think they're gonna get Sigma. I would. I I'm kind of expecting some shenanigans to be happening at least for one of these teams, in like the F6 volcano, to. Uh, you know, oh, maybe make yeah. a more. I, I think that that's probably the answer to how maybe they plan on getting it is like you deny the mechs on Theta by harassing them somehow. I don't know if they All do right. go for that. Well, uh, here we go. It is two wins apiece, two to Vile uh, for the first two, and two to DSC in the second two. So we are at the very least going to six games out of this best of seven. I don't think we've ever gone to seven in the history of MWO comp. Yeah, have you I've, ever gone to six? Because I, I thought it's always been a best of five. It's always been best of so, five. Uh, well, so last <laughs> most year's grand of the time. finals, I think. No, last year's grand oh. finals. I didn't watch last year. <laughs> there was three drops between EQ and no. uh, yeah. IJ, and that was it. So we we already are guaranteed to have more drops. Yeah, at I'm least a non-grand final. Having a very quick look at the mechs here. We've got a Shadowcat P. I don't know what's on it. I'll have a look in a moment. But a Corsair 7A Locust, Cap, uh, Crusader, Viper, XE, Flea, and a SR1, which I'm probably going to guess Corsair is... Corsair is a Dakar. very interesting pick. Yeah, what do we have uh, on the red? We'll go through the builds in a minute. DSC is running a Flea, a Huntsman, a Viper, an XE, a Stone Rhino, a Dyer, a Cap Spider and a shadow cap so huntsman is a hundred percent the gamma the the gamma deny mech uh looking where it's spawning looking where d looking where dsc has spawned their bigs i'm a hundred percent betting that they are doing the kappa gamma sigma hold Ooh, it's a uh gauss yeah, large course here it is the range but there's nothing uh, super secret it is the range and five we'll yeah large it. on the exe sorry no, I was. Just, we'll see if Sim can work his magic. I mean, they're doing exactly what Tio said, and they brought that capsule exactly like Tio said. So you were right on the money. We'll see if he can get Sigma. I I doubt it, but I am Where ready to is be Sim? He's actually he just grabbed Gamma. Maybe he's gonna look. He just grabbed Gamma. I hate it. Teams need to stop doing this. You need to send your cap mech to get Sigma. It's the most time sensitive cap. Actually, no. Hold on a minute. Sim may be onto something big is that while the entire enemy team is looking at Sigma and or Gamma, Sim is going in the old Caldera, and I think he's going to try to sneak Epsilon. Yeah, yeah, maybe he's going to try to grab Epsi and pull their attention that way so they can get Sigma. Uh, just a quick oh, note as well, the Shadow Cat for Vile has ER peeps on it again, same as the this, HBG game. This spider's so, about to take a lot of like, damage, by the way. Okay. Chimera and Adeus, it seems that you're right. Vile knows exactly what what DSC was planning to do because Chimera and, uh, and Adeus are setting up to die for Sigma. Like, they are going to hold that cap that. for They're as long as they can. They're having to run out. Like they said, they said, sitting behind Sigma, and look at DSC are already exiting that yep. Sigma side of the map. They're, they're, they're off. They're, they're leaving that right now at the moment. Uh, I'm a bit curious because there's no way that they play this strat 
without having a plan for what happens if they can't get Sigma. So I'm very curious to see what their what what their what their counterplay they're is. Still... Is it going to rely on Stimrog or I don't know. They're still looking uh, to commit, on. right? Because you've got Basalt <laughs> and Nyan still both coming up high. You see what's happening Stimrog... with the spider and oh, I'm, coming, I'm coming yeah, now. Stimrog yeah. just jumped over the volcano to avoid Leprechaun's fleet. I'm not sure Jesus if Leprechaun Christ. saw him. I know I don't think Stim I'm, saw the I'm, fleet. I'm positive Leprechaun saw him. There's no way he didn't see him. Okay. He, he would have got the um he he would have got the ping from the uh UAV if he's got radar there. Yeah. Well, you'd hope. Of which the fact that Stim just said, uh, nice. here it is. Yeah, Here's nice their counter. play. Their plays to get theta. That's their play. Then That's what they're doing. Yep. Yeah. Uh, hollow MBG, of which, Hong Lord is on top to deny along with Bowser, but like, I'm not. Chicken Lizzie's man. coming up yeah. along with Selif. Viola stacked too heavy at Sigma. They've got three over there. Yeah. They don't need three, I don't think, at all. Especially but, there's, when there's no push coming. It's all over Theta. If, oh, dear. I don't, gonna I, don't know if, here, I, I don't know if DSC will be able to get Theta, though. They're going to have to screen really hard for House. Yeah, they're going for it. There they go. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a full cap on Theta, too. That is not easy, and I, I feel... Chicken Man is jumping in from above on Kong. Making his, making his play. Yeah, be forced him down. Making Kong leave, uh, leave the volcano, but oh, nine I is nine know. is hit hard I early think... at uh, 71, 76 percent. Sorry, right there. And MPG also copping a fair bit of shit, uh, running through the middle there. Leprechaun in the corner here, uh, actually annoying the bigs, uh, and not hitting house. House is going to run in. It's going to be a flea on flea fight. Stimrog is coming in as well. Yep. Okay, but it's just an ear large on that spider. It doesn't actually do a lot, by the way. Oh, Keep that in mind. oh yeah, I'm sorry. It's just I annoying. He's still the 2x MPL. I thought he had actual DPS. Well, he's here uh, large to deny the it... cap, right? He's, he's there to deny a cap, not to yeah. fight. And I mean, DSC is just Jesus. trying to whittle down Kappa, or not Kappa, Theta, uh, of which they're doing an all right job. Viola grouping up here, just it. on the FC side. So they're about to come in towards the center. I don't, know what, uh, I don't know what Vile's doing, but they're just backing off of Theta. Yeah, they're waiting. I mean, the they're waiting for the Epsi. The Corsair is also useless, so it's a pretty even yep. fight. Yep, I agree. On Theta. Yep. Oh yeah, true. I think Basal and and uh, and Adeus are just having their little their own little private lobby over there. <laughs> they decapped it, but it's not enough. They need to get they need to get the cap, and they need to get it soon because they're so far behind. As soon as DSC. Oh, oh. go see Leprechaun. Where was that? Where was that? Oh no. Oh, in... he got backshot. Oh, backshot. I think. Yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, back torso, from? back torso under the bridge, um, just outside oh, yeah. of the center. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. They were that all moving over there. Huge loss, but oh, oh streaks! Oh shit, I didn't oh. see it. It's streaks, not. Oh, okay, that's why. Resource points. <laughs> okay, chicken man's dropping down. This is this is the play right now. He's either gonna die or get a kill. He's right behind Lizzie. He's in his butt. He I, th the, I think he's gonna die. We'll, we'll find see. out. However, DSC needs to walk up now. He's trying to Chicken jump up. No, he's nearly legged him. Uh, Vile playing very carefully. And DSC are moving back up into the middle, though, off the back of this. They're starting to come back towards Theta. Uh, any back shots here? Any back shots? No, no customers. Oh, Scout Derek Ooh. is in such a good spot. Yeah. Oh, he's just farming. Yeah. yeah, Derek is in a very good spot there. Uh, oh, dear. So it's two mechs down to one uh, of Vile, uh, two for DSC. Chimera is open, very, very hurt in the CT, but uh, Nyan is also weak on the torso there as well. Uh, Ghosty is... Ghosty's just getting hammered. Yeah, hammered, yeah. I just, streaks, can't, can't just, even fight back against Chimera and smacked. Kong. Yeah, the and push Selleth is on. And Derek. Yep. The counter push there is back on now from Vile. It's coming back from Vile across later, back the Ooh, other way. Neon drops Chimera. It's pretty big. Yeah. House looks like he's going to fall, though, to Sorry. south. Nine's torsos are uh, basically uh, going to be lopped off here any second now, which I assume is going to happen from Lizzie. Yep, there we go. Neon Lizzie, tab. one touch. Tap, tap. Yep. Lizzie drops Neon. Oh, MPG. On, on Sigma. On Sigma, there's a fire. Oh, but there's a support mech, though, over there. Something to help. Uh, one year large spider. <laughs> well, I yeah, suppose it's something, right? Coming in. Uh, MPG has just been torsoed. I think, Ooh, I, I think this is a vile win. It's starting to stack towards Definitely. vile now. Oh. Yeah, big time, big time. Basalt finishes off Deus oh, over the back. No, shut down! No, shut down! Did oh, he? I, miss, I completely missed He's that. Still shut alive. down. CT. MPG was not quite able to finish him. I think you should have gone side torso there. Oh, oh yeah, there we MPG go. MPG CT. Himself. MPG uh, Even, CT. Even, I mean... Lizzie's just sitting here and waiting now. 
I mean, Bowser's even assault even and stem. It still would have been lost. Bowser's just yeah. out here, just uh, well, annoying the salt um, and well, yeah, slowly, slowly killing him off. Uh, I guess until uh, Lizzie gets here. Yeah, I mean, it was a good try. I mean, they made it a lot closer than I thought they would. But yeah, I just, I just don't think it's a good strat against a team that's just as good or better, better than you. Um, yeah, you know, uh, what happened? And... They try to take data. Just, yeah, uh, and I think you were right on the money. I I was right about DSC doing doing the strat, and 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 you were right about Vile just knowing it's coming and setting up a picture perfect counter for it. Yeah, yeah, you just play that. Uh, they kind of weren't FC ready for them to come out. back um, to Theta initially, but in the end, it kind of worked out all right. Yeah, yeah, they definitely like uh, they they were pretty patient about it though. Like mm, you saw, that's true. eventually they rotated that Crusader. Yeah, well, they waited. Kind of like when the game was over. Yeah, they waited to get, waited. Uh, Vile waited till their four mechs came around that sort of that FC side um, together to actually then move uh, towards Seda. I wonder. I feel like if uh, that ER large spider, like the chant, the idea was to cap Epsilon and then run back to that Caldera spot in it, potentially. I wonder yeah. if that was the thought process However, there. However, yeah. Vile absolutely read that for filth and sent a flea just to immediately capture, uh, ju just to immediately deny him. Yeah, yeah, I definitely think that you're right on the money. That probably was the play, was that they planned on the spider getting FC and then denying it um, perpetually. Yep. And when that didn't work and they called that wasn't going to work, they tried for Theta as like a backup plan and it yep. just uh, just wasn't enough. Mm. So... Damage numbers, what do we are... have? Oh yeah, damage. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, Lizzie getting 996 in the Stone Jeez. Rhino. Disgusting. Jesus. That's, that's so what was that built? Uh, uh, standard three, tens. So three plasmas, quad tens. tens. Yeah. yeah, that's the DACA, yeah. Just laying into them when they try to force Theta like that. Absolutely disgusting. Well played. Well played, the Lizzie. Yep. Basalt getting 557 in the dire, of which him and Adeus were just sparring the whole match. Uh, they were just <laughs> off in their own little world. Private, private yeah, lobby. Uh, yeah, yeah. Basalt actually walked all the way to Sigma. Yep. He, yeah, yeah. Fell off. or jumped off, and then went for a wander. A little, little wander in the you green know, fields or the vol so volcano. -y are we lava going field. to drop six? Uh, yes, we are. I'll flick over to the map strat because I've got to sort this out uh, with these guys in the lobby. So if you guys want to have a so, bit of a doodle, DSC will pick what map, and Vio will pick what side they're going to play yes. here. Yes. That is uh, great. And then they do that for both. So team A, uh, so yeah, team A chooses a map. Oh, so Vile chooses, sorry, let me start again. DSC chooses a map. Vile chooses a map. Vile chooses the side. DSC chooses the side. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so... map straight is up. I'll get these guys to sort their sides out. We're at least going to another drop at the very bare minimum. Yeah, I'll, how do we clear all? I can't remember. It's like, uh, this button? Uh, yep. Need to step away so, for one more second again. Sorry, I drank too much water. Good. So DAC kind of set up kind of what Tios had talked about. Like this, they actually had this spider in H8, which was interesting. Um, and planned on playing, you know, Kappa, Gamma, and then either Sigma or Epsi, I think. Normally it had been Sigma, but I think the spider was supposed to sneakily grab Epsi and then maybe jump back up somewhere and then deny it with the ear large. I'm not 100% sure. But, uh, you know, Vile kind of read them like a book and positioned majority of their stuff in kind of like here where they can watch Sigma or Theta. And they had the flea doing the rounds on the back end, not falling for the bait and trying to go for Gamma, but instead playing defensive, making sure Epsi didn't get taken early. And uh, when DSC made this rotation, once they realized they weren't going to be able to get Sigma or Epsi onto Theta, they were just kind of stuck out in the open with mechs that weren't great for being there. And uh, DSC, or sorry, and Vile just kind of walked up the uh onto the high ground in f7 e7 and lizzie farmed with those ac10s which is just like the perfect mech at the perfect range um and got 900 summon damage right almost a thousand uh okay so we're going to hpg and then frozen uh these guys are uh picking at the moment just sorting this out in the uh in the lobby with them Team two, so DSC, team one, and then DSC pick side 
two. Okay. Uh, right. So we're going to go to HBG again. <laughs> yeah. We're going back there, man. Uh, now. Same size. Same size. So yeah, it is same size, isn't it? Yeah, true. true. And then what did they pick for the seventh map if we get there? Uh, Frozen, Frozen City. They haven't sorted the Frozen. sides out yet though so vile chose frozen and dsc chose hpg and oh okay but but this time for frozen uh dsc choose team one so i don't think they'll push okay, good if they're there yeah i yep. think they're going to play a more standard game with the better side um yeah i think that it's this hpg is gonna be interesting because i don't think dsc will do the same thing i think they're probably going to play it more standard um so two standard decks, I almost I really doubt that Vile will push now after we've seen all of these maps. I don't think they're going to switch up anything. Mm. Um, I really think it's going to be two standard decks and we'll get to see what these teams are made of. Can DSC beat them in a straight up even control game? Do you think That's DSC think will go uh, more left, uh, more of the uh, put someone up on the left as opposed to sort of stacking more over here this game? So more sort of standard-ish, I, I guess? Yeah. I, I do think they'll play it more standard, yeah. I think they'll probably have the uh, the overcharge still. They'll probably play on the low ground, maybe, in, like, Delta 5. Um, and they'll probably look to control Theta with it if they need to, because it can rotate fast under there. And uh, we'll see. I, I have a feeling that there will be at least a skirmish on Theta, because uh, Vile took that Warthog last time, which is amazing for controlling Theta, because it's kind of slow. Um that's its weakness as a light mech, but it packs a punch. So I, I think we are going to have a bit of skirmishes on, on Theta, and I think it's going to be a very standard control game for both sides. I, I could be wrong, but that's just uh, what I envision. Do you put two or three on the wall as DSC? I think it'll be two. I think it'll be two. Do you see a way where three on the wall would potentially work? Absolutely, yeah. Three on the wall can definitely work. Um... If you have three on the wall and the enemy only has two, you need to out-trade them and then rotate on the wall and look for one of their back caps. The easier wall to do that on if you're team one, which is DSC's tied, is to um, is to rotate to the capital one. So like if you walk, just make sure I'm showing the... Uh, yeah, draw the arrows. Make sure you're you drawing. Walk, <laughs> yeah, if, if you walk like this and you get your traders up into positions like those, then you can grab Kappa and then play Epsi, Kappa, and then either Theta or Gamma, depending on what your opponent's doing. Um, that's the most surefire way to do it if you you have more wall supremacy. Um, you can do it on the other side as well, where you walk up kind of what they did before, but that's much less natural to do, in my opinion, because uh, you get more disconnected from your lights if they have traders like, uh, like here that are shooting you while you're doing that, your lights can't really be in this area down here. Compared to the other side, is this is usually, sorry, I'll use purple. This is usually safe for team one's lights to be. Yeah. Uh, so it's like much that is, easier uh, for them to stay connected to their traders. Yeah, that, like that Echo 5, that just is, it's just a dead zone, where there's a bit more cover in and around Delta 4, a bit more you can sort of jump up around, move in, ramps, things like that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So unless they do the same sort of a really aggressive movement right away, I really doubt that they'll push the uh, that side, the E6, like F5 side. They'll probably put, play for the outside Kappa if they do put three on the wall. I still think they're just going to put two on the wall. And we're probably going to see six mechs from both teams eyeing up Theta. And I'm pretty excited to see that. I don't think Ooh. either team will hard commit for it. But Ooh. Ooh. I think... I think, I think we'll see skirmishes down there. I'd be six v six basement it. league, <laughs> basement only. I know we're not supposed to <laughs> root for sides. You know we're supposed to be Im impartial. Oh, but you I should both want... be rooting for DSC so we can get another drop. This is, this exactly, is awesome... exactly. I absolutely <laughs> want. I don't want DSC to win the set. I don't. I don't care who wins the set, but I want DSC to win this drop. I want to go to drop seven so bad. Absolutely, this has been great. This that. Oh man, that. That bear claw strat, and then what's so great about that? That's the first uh, CS that map has been in, right? I, and when yeah. you have a new map like that, you can just pull out something like that no, that nobody's seen, where you just are so creative and have really done your science on the map, and you just blow everyone's mind. And I was definitely having my mind blown there. I was very impressed <laughs> by that strat and your execution of it. But you can't really pull something like that on this. This is 
Yeah, very much more. HPG, yeah, very much more. Yes. Yeah, figured Everything out. Everything that can be done on HPG has been scienced out, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 you know, maybe not everything. You never know. Uh, you know, still, there's, there's a lot of things that can be done that, uh, you know, me and you don't think of that maybe somebody else thought of, but, uh, yeah, probably not going to see anything too crazy. I think in the second uh, drop of this map, I think if you had some crazy strat like that, you would have already used it, right? And while their strat was kind of like a, a little bit crazy, that aggressive push into F five, you know, with the shout catch shutting them down, I. Definitely wouldn't put it anywhere in the league of that bear claw strategy. <laughs> yeah. 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 That bear claw thing was pretty well scienced, well tested. Like, oh, okay. Kept, uh... Of which it's a little interesting that, you know, DSC didn't choose bear claw a second time. Uh, maybe they're thinking the same way you were, G, where it's like, okay, that worked. I don't think it's going to work again. Well, it's clearly also actually, something that only works on one side, and if they pick the map, then I'm assuming that. Yeah, it's uh, true. That's true. Vile. Yeah, if they yeah. if 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 they chose Bear Claw, Vile would 100 percent be like, okay, yeah, you're not gonna get team two. We're we're just we just can't allow that. Yeah, yeah you'd probably I, just I, change I up one is. mech, and that'd probably be enough just to sort out that Shadow Cat, and that'd be enough. I, I yeah, I really do think that there's so many ways to counter that strat if you know and it's coming ahead of time, but. uh yeah, yeah, I'd be very surprised if we ever see that strat again from either of these teams. Mm. Well, uh, we've got Alpha Bravo here, uh, relatively. Oh, actually, no, there is a sorry, there is a uh, an assault uh, player in the Alpha this time for DSC. So yeah, it's there, and then Charlie. Yeah, it's definitely much more of the standard. HPG business. So there we <laughs> definitely no special DSC funny business, at least going off the lances and the players if you're spreading your assaults out at this stage. Yeah, I, I assume it's going to be a straight game. And uh, obviously, I, I have to favor Vile at this point, watching the, how these matches have occurred. DSC's drops that they've won have been uh, out cap and out smart, not out shoot. A little and, weird uh, because Vile won HPG, right? Yeah, yeah, but remember that uh, DSC didn't do a normal strat. They did, we did a very That's aggressive true. push up on the wall. Yeah, so I think that they're gonna. That's true. They're gonna do a normal strat, and it's we'll just. See. I don't know. It's just I would I would never pick a map that I had just lost, and I don't know. Maybe maybe DSC has a second strat waiting in the wings, but it's just it is a little odd to see them lose and then go. Let's play it again. I, I don't think it's that odd if you look at like how the maps have played out though. Like, uh, like Bog was very close. And again, I think that yeah. if Vile didn't let that cap go, then they were not in a great position. I think that a bear claw, like we talked about, they just won't get the same side. And even if they did, I think it's pretty easily counterable if you know it's coming. Like HPG is a very, you know, figured out map and they didn't do a normal strategy on it. So if they wanted to play a straight game, this is the map you'd pick to do that. Where yeah, you don't true. care which side true. you get. And you just say, okay, we've done our funky strats. Now we're going to do a straight trade game with you and we'll see who comes out on top. Well, the problem is that they can't pick the map and then pick the side they want to do a funky strat. So you couldn't go, hey, let's send us to Bog and play from the Team 2 side and do something different that uh, Vile haven't seen because we, well, we can't do that, right? It's just not possible to pick that. And Vile would not go uh, to Bog, you wouldn't think, and they wouldn't go to Bear Claw either. So... Yeah, kind of yeah. no surprise. We're back to HPG and Frozen. It makes sense uh, for for both teams, and yeah, yeah I, I do, I like, do I think we're gonna see a straight game. Yeah, yeah. If we do get a, like a Frozen game, I also think that will be a straight game. So like, uh, potentially we get two very normal looking games from these two teams and see how they stack up against each other, or one that will depend on Vile and. Uh, yeah, it depends on how this game goes. Yeah. Play. Oh, I'd be I'd be keen to see what uh, DSC would do, and if yeah, they would play a vanilla, a vanilla generic style uh, frozen game instead, or do they change the push up right, like put it all on the line and change a couple of things based on whatever they saw, you know? Yeah, I I just can't imagine you do that after you see their deck with like mm. beams and stuff. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean like again, these teams know each other better than I know them, so. They absolutely could go for think Maybe they think Vile would think the same thing I would. That like, oh yeah, there's no way they'd, they'd push again on Frozen with the better side. And 
but we'll, we'll only see we'll see the if we mind get to games it. man the mind games right <laughs> oh the mind games are huge i there yep. was a lot of mind games that happened last season uh, i could go into that for hours but yeah 100 focus on these games uh and speaking of uh yeah here we are we are in it again Drop number six, Vile three wins to DSC's uh, two. And I've got my scoreboard backwards. It changed that, sorry. Yeah, uh, I, I, I just fixed that. Give it a second. Oh, you fixed it? Okay, sorry. Yeah. Okay, okay so uh, on the Vile side, we have an Adder, a Shadow Cat, uh, a Flea, an Incubus, a Stone Rhino, a Stalker, and an Exegem. They've swapped which pilots are saying are playing what, but other than that, it's the same strat. Or I mean, it's the same deck. Uh, DSC side, uh, different deck definitely. The overcharge is in there. Dolph is still there. Uh, Cyrus, I'm guessing that's uh, Brawly, uh, Phoenix Hawk, and the SR two, which I'm guessing is uh, the Gaussian large thing again. So, yeah, it's going to be a pretty standard game, you'd think. Yep, this looks completely standard to me. Yep. Uh, so this is it. We'll get to see. And, and no, it, like random, well. random little extra mech pick or something in there. I kind of thought maybe that might happen a little bit. You know, something slightly different. But uh, no. I think even even map and even drop decks. So it's just going to be a matter of skill. Yep. Interesting. Large say that on the show right now, though. That's very interesting, actually. Large the, bosses. Yeah. Uh, Chimera ran the same thing last game. last game as well. So I think. I think uh, Vile is definitely a lot more mid-range heavy compared to, uh, well, I mean, maybe, I don't know. They have, it, it depends on where they put the longbow because they have Neander in the Dire. Oh no, they have a Stone Rhino as well. Yeah, so DSC is definitely a lot more range heavy. But it looks uh, like DSC is also making a very early play, early play for, for Beta. Yep. yep. Yeah. Careful, so a very that, careful. Maybe, very careful early play. <laughs> not a risky Sh one. Sh Very careful. Shadow Cat does not have ERPPC this time. It's got plasma. So a that, different that player is a as big well. Difference. Yep. Because it can't yep. harass the wall now. It can't harass the wall. So uh, DSC actually made a very interesting show of force where they didn't go for the cap until they had clearly scared off the flea. That way they have more time to full cap, which I think is a very temperate and smart play because everybody will be like, no, I want to get there first and I want to get the cap first. However, DSC playing it a little bit slower will probably earn them more cap time on Theta. Oh, Stim has taken quite a bit of damage there, um, getting hit with Tamiya Large and the mag shots uh, there from Leprechaun, already down to 85% uh, and an orange leg uh, with the armor. Now that it's on the wall with the beam LMG incubus, and that scares me because he's so far out of range. And and for and for those of you who don't know, beams have a 600 optimal. So instead of a 1200 max, they have a 900 max. So beams are actually pretty poor at range. I'll take so, the basement. So call, wall he, he dropped immediately as you said that, and you're a spot on. That was not the place to be. I think he was just up there for scouting yeah. mainly. Uh, stuck around yeah vile sends four mechs they send chimera and derek they have a stone rhino and a crusader on on theta yeah five mechs. and so, dsc yeah. just needs to get side caps that you 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 just can't challenge that you absolutely well, we'll cannot. See. i mean they have five mechs underneath right now dsc could technically bring six if they bring that the if they bring that longbow down right now they'd mm. have six mechs they could challenge I still it. think sure. that's i still think they're outgunned by vile though with the assault of the the, the SR6, yeah, that S, that stone rhino will guarantee to have single heat sinks. You can shoot it twice or something. It's like 200, 250 damage. It's, yeah. it's yeah. insane. The adder as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I uh, think DSC needs to start playing for side caps or back caps. However, Delith is sitting on on the on their home cap. I think he's prepared for uh, DSC to make a play like that, which is a little interesting to be one light down. But when you waiting, have such yeah. a heavy control, does it matter? Yeah, I mean, like they're winning the trades on DSC though. He's just I mean, watching. Just he's like, just watching the gate, and you know why he's watching the gate? Because they're suspecting Stim to do some stinky shit. And look what's happening! <laughs> That's exactly yeah, yeah. Stim okay. is looking, man. He's looking for it. He's looking for that angle, and uh, he spotted Seleth, and he's running away. So that's yep. kind of thwarted uh, thwarted the plan there uh, from DSD. I mean, DSC has Lizzie's a lot of time to figure out. Oh, yeah. okay. This is huge, though. Yonda actually jumped across, and so they are going to push for Sigma, I think is yeah. going to be the plan. On the there'll wall. be a, there'll be a, will be a left a move. a little interesting. Yeah. Uh, Lizzie's going to start getting angled out here, of which he's already down to 64%. Per percent. It is spread pretty well just by virtue of being a stalker, but yeah. even then. 
As Lizzie definitely it, has it, to it start playing. Uh, over time. Yeah, Lizzie's definitely going to have to start XC, chilling at sixty percent. There's no two XC's ways about gonna, that. Yeah, I mean the Darwin's getting double teamed right now in the open, and uh, you gotta be careful not to bleed that armor. It's at enough range where it's not Ooh. a huge concern right now, but yeah, yeah no, I'm getting it. double teamed because Basalt is almost is, open yeah. CT. Yeah, yeah she's but, getting absolutely wrecked. It's, Basalt is actually uh, busy with sure. other mechs too, by the way. Oh, like she's kind yeah. of being sold because I don't think DSC is doing anything else. Yeah, I yeah, don't so, understand this play to have her push alone on that side of Sigma. Like Basalt isn't moving up. Well, he's moved up to the right, side. but he's been shooting the guys underneath. He hasn't been... Uh, well, I don't think he's got any angles on the traders up top. So, yeah, Nyan's just like getting double-teamed. I, I don't like this idea of sending your traders to different sides like this. I think this is like a surefire way to lose. Oh, Nyan is uh, very, very CT. Have, very CT. Amara and Derek have left Theta, though, so maybe... no. Nyan, one touch. CT, one touch. Theta's done. almost full cap, though, which, yeah. means that, which means at the moment somebody... Somebody steps on it, uh, Vile Mechs will drop. See, now yeah, this is a huge, huge bad. problem for DSC. They've just lost, lost one of their range traders on the wall, right? So this this is a big problem. Lizzie's almost gone, though. Lizzie's almost dead. Stimrog is pulling up something cheeky. However, Leprechaun is waiting in their back. They yeah. know. Now, they know that think... there are two mechs. They are just oh, Chicken Man going to jump up. Chicken Man going to jump is. up here. And where's Lizzie? Lizzie drops. Oh, Lizzie just Lizzie's not, yeah, okay. okay. Low, okay. but not dead. DSC needs to make a play now. Vile has yep. three mechs in the back, almost four. DSC needs to push Theta and take it now. They need to yeah. kill Chimera immediately. So DSC are moving Stim now across the middle, slowly but moving. Stim has to get out now or he's dead. Yep. He is going to start running. M needs to get out. Chicken Man need, uh, need, need, needs to get out. Hollow needs to be on Theta fighting Chimera right hey, now. MPG and Windscaper jumping him. Yep. Now, Longbow and uh, House need to go through this and be very, very quick about it. Amara is just spreading damage like a god, though. I don't know how he how he's living as long as he is. He's almost halved. He's halved. He he's down. He okay. The, open the Shadowcat leg, maybe? Almost open. Yes, he is taking Theta. Okay, that's the pick they needed to bring this game back now, though, because they will have three caps, and it's even... I think this is a fair trade, though, because, you know, Vile sent all their mechs to the back yeah, expecting I another Sigma play. And they and, and DSC capitalized on that perfectly. Yeah, and definitely in the, Chimera out of position or his team out of position, one or the other. Oh no, I think it looks like it's uh, it's Vile basement. Vile are not going to have a bar yeah, of this I was about basement to run shit. In hardcore. But DSC okay, well, aren't they, even they, near they, it. <laughs> this <laughs> is fine though. Gone. He just needs to move up and they grab yep. Kappa. That's the play. He yep. needs to move up yep. right now and they grab Kappa. I th I think I th I think Stimrog's aware of that. I think he's going to get Kappa because you know Kong's gone. Kong is back over the middle now. Oh wait, no, Kong is in the center. Yep, yep, this is what you do. But yeah. can get Kappa, this... Jesus Christ. The X is in the middle, yeah, and we've got a, what a 60 70 ticket spread at the moment with that three cap. This critical. Hollow and Windscaper, what? Yo, Hollow, Windscape, this is not it. No, this, oh, is, not, no. this is not the go in time. This is, suicide. This is not this the is go suicide. in time. No, no. How, oh, they, they're losing off of this. House is walking in and getting a back shot, but even without yeah, him, Hollow's, there, Hollow's just getting picked apart, of which, you, of which they saw how. They saw how quickly Theta went up. I don't. I. I don't know why they thought yeah. that was a good play. Windscape could have gone out even if he stayed, and this is yeah. House is gonna die too. This game's over now. Dimrog has gotten Kappa. Yeah, Windscape gets flicked. Because House mm. is gonna go down next. You can't just throw away four, like three four max like that. That's yeah. Yeah. A gross misplay. Because what House you could have done. Legged. Because Vile kind of. I kind of stuffed up a bit by not full capping uh, Kappa. They had, they've had the entire game to go back and deal with that, right? Like plenty, plenty of oh time. Oh my god! Oh, oh no! Lizzie chicken. didn't see Chicken Man. And Chicken Man didn't see Lizzie. <laughs> no, he didn't. What? He, I did. No, he one hundred percent saw it. He just was like, "Why he didn't kill him?" Yeah, he like, I don't understand. I'm, Is it all just about the uh, aiming for the cat? Even then, they're not going to get them. DSC just doesn't have enough cap pressure to pull this out no, they, they, they can't win anymore it's over it's files win yeah they I honestly caps, think they had it they had it if they just didn't suicide because you yeah, can just no i you get kappa and i think Sigma if they were treated and just held kappa. yeah they just need to hold uh fc and kappa and then play for sigma once the enemy gets gamma like, uh, which is not like dsc didn't have a clue beta went up at the speed of five mechs on it like yeah. they should have known yeah, whoever, that was definitely a, just a big mistake calling to go under on Theta like that. Mm. It was just straight suicide. Unfortunate way to end this game, because honestly, I 
I thought that, uh, I don't know what the call is, but their Direwolf kind of threw themselves away. Yeah. But then they got that pick on Chimera. It was super good. It brought it back. I actually think it was in their favor. And then and then they just throw it back again. Because um, Kappa well, was an instant flip, right? So DSC would have instantly flipped Kappa because it was completely slithered, yeah? So again, if you yeah, yeah. didn't go under, just stay on the outside. Let Vile sit on Fader. And literally, said, just keep running around the outside at that point. Just go Cap. Just run around Cap. 100%. 100%. Uh, unfortunate, but uh, still a good match. I, I would say a great match and still a good drop. Mm. Um, All yeah, right, damage the, numbers. The Have a look. Bong getting 661 in the XC. Chicken Man getting 609 in the Viper. Chicken Man has just been doing phenomenally in, in that mech. Just getting absurd amounts of damage in a skirmish 40 tonner. I. Uh, Timra getting 68 in the Jenner, spent the whole match running around capping. Uh, but really, that's the only exceptional one there. Uh, Lizzie getting 512. Neon getting 360 in the Direwolf. I don't know. I feel like Neon there was kind of sold. Like, I feel like she was just told, run in and. Yeah, I mean, you can never her. know if that was her own decision or a call, but it was definitely a mistake, uh, especially because they yeah. were winning trades against mm. a Stalker and Exe. Like, I think you just push the Kappa side together and you're going to just outshoot the, the Stalker and Exe whenever they peek out on you, right? As the as yeah. a Stone Rhino and a Direwolf. I, I don't understand like pushing that side by yourself and letting them two versus one you. It just doesn't make any sense to me at all. All right, the map strat is up. If you want to have a quick doodle as what just happened there and then we can uh, round out what has been a one of the better series and close that I've casted in a very long time. Excellent series, excellent series. So mm. basically it was just a standard game from both sides. Uh, Vile post up a Stalker like back here and their XE up here, both of the are large. Uh, Stone Rhino with the large pulses like in here, uh, there to control Theta. And then on the other side, DSC put the Dowolf here, Stone Rhino here, and then overcharge. I think it was started on this ramp actually. Uh, basically mirrored uh, between the two teams where they both have that Assault Mech that's like on the low ground to help control Theta and, uh, you know, kind of mid-range. And then the two traders on the walls. The DSC mechs were actually out-trading, which makes sense. Uh, at those ranges, a Direwolf and Sonorano should absolutely out-trade an XE and Soccer on the wall. Um, but then they DSC made this play after they lost control of Theta. I think they maybe panicked a bit too much, and uh, the Direwolf pushed by itself in the open like this. And Vile played it perfectly, where the XE came over this way and the Stalker looked that way. And they just isolated that mech and, and basically killed it for free. Um, Very quickly. So DSG's Very response quickly. to that was, yeah, you know, the Stormile pushed up here. And Stim and I think it was Chicken Man made a great play that distracted them, made them think they were going hard for Sigma. So Vile's mechs pulled back out of Theta to go fight on Sigma. But then Chicken and, and Stim excellently withdraw it at the perfect time. And they grabbed Theta and ganked chimera to bring it back to seven seven uh mechs on the field right the game chimera like right here uh and then it looked really good for dsc because they had theta control had fc gamma and you know the Stone rhino was rotating on the wall and uh vile ended up going everything underneath to get theta back but at that point you kind of even saw it chicken could just jump up and kill the stalker with uh stim grab kappa and you play the outside caps you can send something to just one mech to sigma you can protect Gamma from up on the wall if something has enough range safely. Um, you're going to have Kappa and Epsi for sure. And you can just play a slow game from there while they're kind of stuck underneath on Theta and you're going to be able to shoot them whatever exit they leave. But instead, they sent three mechs underneath to basically just die. Uh, seemingly unprompted. I'm not actually sure why they did that. But uh, yeah, big mistake. And that was it because they basically just threw three mechs away and got nothing. I like it. I am I like sad that we are not seeing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really wanted to see that last drop as well. Not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, <laughs> I felt like it could have gone to seven, man. I really, really do. Really do. Yeah, oh. but uh, it was a good match. Uh, I, I loved some of the strats we saw. Some huge plays from individual players as well. Um, yeah, I, definitely I do hope we see these teams fa uh, face off again in, in the grand finals. Yeah, he even had some banter going on in the chat between them. I think, uh, yeah, really, really fun. And I do hope that we see a rematch. I think it, I have to be honest, 
I think with the fact that they won drops off of like really creative kind of one time use strats, beating Vile in two best of sevens, yeah, that is going to be really tough. Uh, very unlikely, I would say, even if uh, DSC does get back there. But definitely like the only team that can do it. I don't think there's another team in this tournament that has any chance of beating Vile in two best of sevens. So yeah, uh, we'll see and if DSC I mean, makes it back. I hope they do. They just got to. They just got to cook up 14 wild strats. <laughs> I mean, they, but they went toe to toe with, you know, this last drop, it was very even. Like, it was, you know, even map with even drop oh, yeah. decks, and they had a chance to win. It was just like both teams made one blunder, and it was like even actually DSC was winning, and then they just made that extra blunder that lost them the game. So, yeah, I, I think they can do it, but it's going to be hard if they, if they make it back there. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely going to be here for it if they do. I, I can't wait to watch it if, if that happens. Absolutely. Anything, uh, any last words to add, Lance? I think that's all of it. Yeah. No, cool. that's, that's it for cool. me, too. All right. Uh, well, there's another game uh, in ooh, approximately three hours. three hours. Yeah. Uh, who is that? <laughs> I actually I have no idea because I'm not casting it. Arc C Corsairs versus no. Fjord, if memory serves. No, not, it's 10. Uh, uh, sorry, no, no, no. The other guys. <laughs> <That's> five <laughs> Tenth Lear and Guard Revenants. I forgot. They're not they're they're not the Jag Dragoons anymore. Yeah. Tenth Lear and Guard Revenants. Sorry. Versus yeah. Fjord Isagoths. Yes, that's it. I yes. Have, yes. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's in that's in three hours. Uh guys, thank you all for tuning in. Uh all the viewers there watching uh from wherever you are in the world. Thank you too for joining uh, me this morning. I do appreciate that. And well, yeah, that Thanks. kind of rounds out the. I mean, we've got a damn good set of games today. I, I y y no one can be upset about that. And yeah, that that's pretty yeah, much thank it. Thank you so much for casting with me, uh, Bowser and TS. I was happy to be here. And uh, yeah. Bowser, you calling me Bowser? Oh, oh Jesus! I'm sorry, Ash I don't know. I don't know who's going to be more upset at that, him or me. No, I don't give a shit. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Awesome, uh, awesome. All right, uh, thank you all for tuning in. Three hours. MW Cup will be back. I'm not casting. Uh, someone else is. So anyway, see you guys then. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a great day, evening, or night.